Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Master Luke here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Bravely Default 2. Um, this is going to be about another four-hour stream or so. Um, we'll see how far we get. I'd like to complete Chapter 1 if we could. Um, that being said, I know it's been, uh, what, a couple days since we played it last, and as you can see, all these enemies are scared of me now. You might be wondering, hmm, that's weird, because uh, you weren't that, that high level when we finished off the last episode. Well, uh... <laughs> You might see that one person is way higher level than everybody else. Um, so they have the boat mechanic, which I looked up after after we had finished the last episode. And so basically, as long as you have the game turned on, but you put your switch in sleep mode, um, obviously you have to click like start exploring. But you click that, then you hit the home menu, then you close it out. Don't close the game out. Leave the game on. I had to, I had to uh, figure it out a little bit. But it will go and like collect random items for you. Uh, while the switch is in sleep mode, which is nice. I played Pokemon yesterday. It was all good um, And I came back and I found like this monstrous EXP orb uh, So I give it to Gloria because she's uh, she's our healer for right now And so I figured let's buff the weakest person on our team. Well, I didn't realize it was gonna shoot us up a whole nine levels uh, So yeah, there <laughs> there's that um, so she's way higher than everybody else now and uh, Yeah so that's why everybody's scared of me. All the orcs, all the orcs even are running away. But uh, anyways, we are gonna be exploring the city of Savalon and uh, trying to get it unflooded, I suppose. All right, so there's not too much that I've done in this town. Um, I did go over here in between streams and there was a guy kind of like a jester or something sitting over here who like mind control the whole bunch of people I don't know what that was all about hopefully it'll be explained later maybe he's the boss of this chapter I don't know but uh let's head up here and see what we got going on all right ooh fancy uh there is a chest in here maybe in this room now nah, the guards blocking that room Oh, maybe down there. Oh, no. Princess Gloria. It is a great relief to see you safe and well. I am sorry if I caused you any undue concern, Prince Castor. Please, there is no need to apologize. If I might ask, what became of you after the fall of your kingdom? It is rather a long story, I'm afraid. Well, time to tell it. And so, oh, we find okay, ourselves here today. <laughs> You're just gonna gloss right you over it. you believe Savalon's current troubles to have been caused by the water crystal? I do. And I wondered if your honored father might know anything that could help us in investigating the matter further. Your Highness, permit me to offer my deepest sympathies for all that has befallen you. Alas, our own realm is currently suffering grave troubles of its own. It saddens me to say this, but... We are unable to offer any assistance. Silence. That is not your decision to make. You must forgive Dromed his presumption. While his official title is that of record keeper to the court, he also serves in an unofficial capacity as an advisor. And what he says is not without truth. Our current situation is not a pleasant one. My honored father, the king, his... His whereabouts are currently unknown. Uh oh, Goodness. all right. I guess we have you have any to idea find what him. might have happened to him? Sadly, not. We had thought that he might have been kidnapped, but we have received neither a ransom demand nor contact of any other kind. We have also tried to notify my younger brother, Pollux, but since setting off on his tour of the nations of the world, he remains unreachable. The Council of Elders has been satisfied thus far with our tales of sudden sickness. But it is only a matter of time before they begin asking questions. I am ever so sorry. I pray with all my heart that he will be returned to you soon. You are too kind, Princess Gloria. I will confer with the Council on the matter of the Water Crystal. Perhaps one of the Elders will know something. That would be great, wouldn't it, Gloria? You dare interject, servant! Have you no shame? Oh, you misunderstand, Prince Castor. My friend here is no servant. He is a companion and trusted ally. I owe him my life. Hmm? Friend? Companion? A lowly commoner? 
Oh, come now, your highness. If you continue to insult my comrades, I fear I shall have no choice but to take offense. Offense? At what? He is a commoner, is he not? I merely call a spade a spade. Prince Castor. Ahem. <clears throat> Forgive me, your highness. I spoke out of turn. Now, to return to the matter at hand. Dromed. The city's various districts began to fill with water at different times, but it seems the trouble first began around three years ago. Three years? You're telling me this town has been flooded for three, three years, years and they never once was tried to do anything about the it? The council will be assembling shortly. We must what? consult with them on this matter right away. Please, if you would bear with us until then. I was going to say, like, of maybe course, last your week highness. or something, but three years? Jeez, man. Forgive the wait, your highness. Allow me to introduce Elders Cygnus and Bernard, right honorable members of the council. Mm. Cygnus, Minister now of Commerce. Now I know who the boss of this service. chapter is. <laughs> A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Princess Gloria. Bernard, master of the gaming hall. It is an inestimable honor, your highness. Prince Castor informs us that you seek knowledge of the water crystal. We do, indeed. I suspect that it might be the cause of the city having filled up with water. Might you know anything of such a connection? Alas, the cause is somewhat more prosaic than that, your highness. I am afraid my men made a rather critical blunder while digging an underground waterway. In fact, you find us having just emerged from an emergency council meeting on that very subject. I thought you said this happened three and years ago. And a very ago. productive meeting it was, too. I must commend you on your ready acceptance of responsibility, Lord Bernard. To have offered to help in righting the mistake is further proof, if such were needed, of your unimpeachable character. This man is no crystal thief, your highness. You have my personal guarantee of that. You honor me, Lady Sigmund. Now, we must be getting on. The proposed countermeasures will require considerable planning if they are to go ahead. If you would excuse us. All right. Well, I guess what they're saying makes sense. Perhaps. But if Bernard's waterways truly are the reason for the flooding, then there is one thing that strikes me as somewhat convenient. The gaming hall. His gaming hall is one of the few places not afflicted, despite the vast quantities of water it uses. Hmm. Perhaps we had better go and take a look. You will allow me to accompany you. I wonder you, if they I get trust. like a little casino if where one you of play my mini subjects games truly this. is connected to the disappearance of your kingdom's treasures. As a friend and ally, I cannot stand idly by. Your help will be much appreciated, Your Highness. And besides, I somewhat doubt the ability of this rabble to protect you. You are of noble birth, Lady Gloria. Oh my goodness. To associate so freely if with the noble If only he knew is... we just gave her a giant EXP orb and she's nine levels higher than everybody else. Linus. Now is not the time Don't worry, to be she'll be fine. aspersions on the quality of your companions. I hope you can all forgive me. And that I might prove to be of assistance. I hope so too, Prince Castor. All right. Looks like we're headed for the gaming hall. Oh, he's coming with us. Okay, interesting. Uh, is this a, a quest? It's blue. I despise goblin archers. Okay. <laughs> Defeat some goblin archers. Sounds good to me. That's really a four-star difficulty quest. Some goblin archers are easy. You mean four stars? That's ridiculous. Aha! Here, well, here's our chest we were looking for. Three antidotes. Can we go in here? Is this the the study? Little balcony out here. It looks nice. I like it being able to like zoom out like that, the panoramic shot or whatever. Just because I really like the art direction of this game. Um, very, very nice. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go defeat some goblin archers. That'll be easy, since they all run away from me anyways. All right, so the gaming hall is over this way. Oh, that was the fancy tent from earlier, where we faced the, uh... Ooh. Hold up, more side quests? How many... Okay, there's two more here. All right, let's pick up this one. A real tragedy, book smarts. Uh, borrow a book from the boy who likes reading. Okay. And before we go in there, 
let's actually go down here. This might have something else to do. Maybe? It just froze. Oh, okay. Someone! Please! You must help! What's the matter, sir? The, the, the one-eyed creature. It, it attacked us. A one-eyed creature? <laughs> yes. I escaped and came to seek help, but, but my friend is still in danger. Please, you must help him. We would right. be glad to. Let's go. Let's go would slay a cyclops. Yeah, of course. You would. Just leave it to us. You go tell the city guard about what happened, okay? Very well. And thank you. It sounds as if we need to hurry. Do we want to do that first? Well, oh, that's only. That's only a three-star quest. You know what? I don't know. I don't know what's up with these <laughs> these ranking of quests, but they seem a little bit off. Oh wait, I missed the party chat. No, I wonder if it'll still be active out here. Mm -mm. Nope, it's gone. Okay. Oh yeah, no, here. Here we go. All right. The prince and the paupers. Hmm. Crikey, these snacks I brought are good. <laughs> Couldn't help yourself, huh? Are you kidding? I can't pass a stall and not buy something. Don't suppose you fancy a skewer, do you, Prince Caster? They're a credit to your kingdom, I must say. Oh, I'd recommend the... Do not presume to speak to me. We are not friends. Hold on, pal. You're the one who has to come along with us. I offered to accompany Princess Gloria. The commoners who trail in her wake are of no interest to me. You know, Elvis isn't actually a commoner. His family's kind of a big deal. <laughs> the idea of this man of any, con is of any consequence is all laughable. No person of quality would indulge in such filthy street foods. And just look at him licking his fingers. Ugh. But you are a noble, right, Elvis? Ah, what does it matter? I'm a connoisseur of tasty treats. That's all you need to know. Eh, why don't you just admit that you're a fancy nibble, your highness? Heaven only knows you'll... How they got this coating so crispy. I do not want to nibble, and certainly not of something you have mauled in such a fashion. Now please, do not bother me again. Prince Caster? Uh, did you not hear what I said? You're, uh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> then why did you not tell me so? <laughs> ah, you're a one, your highness. I don't know, maybe he'll be the boss. We'll see. What is this? It's right here. What am I? What am I supposed to be doing? Digging here, right here? I don't have a shovel or anything. There's a blue marker up this way, which I suppose means this is where the goblin archers are. I don't know. I'd have to check the check the log again. We'll finish these side quests and then we'll we'll move on to the gaming hall. Okay, wrong way. I'm following the blue marker, but what's me? Aha! Everybody's afraid. We are so powerful now. All thanks to a little exploring. And make sure you're online, because apparently that's how you get the good stuff. Oh, not that way. My goodness, how far back is this this blue icon? Even the, really, even these big guys are afraid now. That's actually very interesting. Um, let me, let me see. Does it mark it actually on the, oh, that's why. Because it's in Halconia. Uh, yeah, I'm not walking all the way back to Halconia. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Glad I checked before I went any farther. Jeez. That'd been quite the trek. Um. Come and get it. You right? Yeah. Easy enough. All right, and then the other two seem to be in the Sevalon Desert. I don't think there's a uh, the only skip travel is like those wagon things that I know of now. Maybe we might get an item later in the game that lets us fast travel from any point, like a warp whistle or something. But as of right now, I don't have anything like that. Um, I, 
I know one of them is to kill a bunch of goblin archers. And I thought that's what these guys were. I'll check. I'll go into one battle with them and see. Because I'm pretty sure... That's what... Are these guys carrying axes or bows? Let's see. Where'd they go? Uh, no, not those guys. Where's the goblins at? Did I really somehow miss them? Or maybe they come out at night. Oh. Well, there's the one-eyed monster. No. It's gonna make us do a cutscene. Get yourself to safety. We'll deal with the monster. Th thank you. This must be the one eyed like creature that man was things. referring to. <laughs> well, its reign of terror is about to come to an end. Wow. That's just kind of laughable because. We, we fly, I mean, unless this is a rare uh, variant or something. Let's see. Oh, we brought friends. I see. Huh. Let me see. Oh, and Prince, or, Prince Caster attacks with us. Okay, that's nice. Alright, um. Ah, knows no so let's see. All weak to bows. And of course, we didn't bring any bows. Um. What was the magic, too? Light magic? Uh, yeah, here we go. Enemies. Then all enemies. Let's just roast these guys. <laughs> Yeah. Be healed. Let me help you. Wait, Be what? Healed. I thought light magic. Does that feel better? Come and get it. Hold up. I saw a tutorial earlier in this game that said if you use healing magic on demons, it hurts them. I swear, because I remember that because I was like, well, that's weird. But I guess it makes sense. What? Or maybe it's only undead. It might be undead class, not demon class. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> okay. uh, At least I started off with that. Jeez. Uh, mm, all right, let's just. Here it comes. Sorry, pal. Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> Oh, it takes about three hits. Okay. Hey, welcome, Sadie. Glad you could join us this morning. Alright, um... Uh, this guy's closer to dying. Only 82. It is a little bit early in the day. I typically do my, uh, streaming a little bit later. But I got some plans for tonight, so... That's why we're doing. We're playing a JRPG at 10 in the morning, which isn't the best for uh, reviews, but it is what it is. Okay. Your tail ends Perfect. here. I cannot be defeated. <laughs> My father once told me that he too was attacked by an Araman while visiting these parts. King Orion himself came to his aid. That was the beginning of the close bond between our two kingdoms. Savalon was suffering from a severe drought at the time. My father offered to return the favor by trying to help solve the water shortage. And that was how the idea for a new network of waterways beneath the city was born. No way. The people of Savalon have always thought the Araman to be a harbinger of calamity. But that fortune smiles on whoever can defeat one. I guess things are looking up for us well, then. Well, we defeated hundreds I of them, so... I certainly hope so. Now, let's get back to the city right. and make sure everyone got home safely. Alright, quest complete. Very nice. Um, it's 821 here in uh, California. Oof. Yeah, that is, that is quite early. Everybody's still asleep, or at school, or, you know... There's a bunch of there's a bunch of factors going against me right now, but that's okay. I figure if anything else, people will see the VOD later, and hopefully, I wish. My biggest wish was that uh, JRPGs were more popular on YouTube, but unfortunately, uh, it's just the sad truth that that uh, not as many people enjoy them. 
<laughs> but I don't care. Uh, I enjoy them, so that's why we're going to keep playing. Let's see. Is this? Yep, that's the guy from earlier. You're alive! Oh, thank the heavens! We have been so terribly worried! You saved my friend's life. How can we ever repay you? Oh, don't be uh, silly. Gold? It was our pleasure. Forgive me, but are you Princess Gloria of Musa? I am, yes. Have we met somewhere before? Yes, Your Highness. About five years ago, you came to watch the soldiers practice their swordplay at the palace. I was among the ranks that day. Sword practice? Oh, yes. It was honor enough to be in your august presence, Your Highness. Little did I know that further honor awaited me. I just love that Princess Gloria also is wearing like you are not her winter outfit in the middle of the desert. That you would participate. We soldiers were rather flustered. What if one of us were to injure a visiting royal? But you were not to be deterred, Your Highness. You strode out and immediately challenged the largest, strongest swordsman present and refused to back down. <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. A member of the royal line must be prepared to fight on the front line should circumstances require it. And any army would give its all with one such as you at its head, Your Highness. We will ensure that all know it was by your hand that the Ariman fell. We are forever in your debt. All right, 680 gold. Quest complete. Uh, and more party chat. What do they got for us now? Mm -mm. Gloria's idol. Your dad took his debt seriously, huh, Gloria? Sticking around to help build an entire waterway system just to say thanks for being rescued from the Armin was no small thing. He certainly always sought to do uh, right by people. He believed that one should always keep one's promises, and that one should never abandon a friend in need. So that's where you get it from. Well, I'd say you learned your lesson pretty well. I bet you spent the whole time growing up trying to be just like him, huh? I did. To be compared with him is... It's nice. Thank you. Speaking of thank yous, your lad here is not wrong. The Savalonians got one heck of a thank you from your old man. Yeah, I guess the wo they wound up with more than they fair their fair share of good luck from that Araman. Speaking of which, we should do for a slice of good fortune ourselves. Hey, look. What is it, Adele? I found a coin on the floor. Cha-ching! Guess this is, really is our lucky day. Really? That's all we get? One poxy coin? Psh, lucky day in my eye. All right. Um, there was there was one other thing. Something about books. Eh, we'll we'll mess with that later. We did the one quest. I was coming back this way, anyways. I guess we shall go to the gaming hall. Wow, this is fancy. Whoa. I never expected to see a fountain like that in the middle of the desert. Me neither. Talk about decadence. Yeah, this is one nice Not casino. Not that I mind a little luxury, but you can have too much of a good thing. Oof. There's been no expense in deck in this place here, that's for sure. Prince Caster. To what do we owe this inestimable pleasure? Well, might I ask what brings you here, your highness? Princess Gloria was taking a tour of the city. I thought it would be rude not to offer to accompany her. There's a cat girl? Ah, the what? life of a prince is a oh, hard no, those one. Are fake ears. But I am forgetting myself. Allow me to introduce Annie Hale. The rustic charms of her performing menagerie have been entertaining our clientele of late. You will have to forgive her. Abysmal manners. I found her wandering the wilds, and it seems her upbringing was far from civilized. <laughs> but tell me, Princess Gloria, how goes the search for the water crystal? We haven't found it yet, but we will. You can be sure of that. 
<laughs> oh, I do admire your optimism, but I can't help feeling that you'll never find it, no matter how hard you search. Mm, why, what would you it got take it? to convince you that it was not in Savalon, I wonder? An official edict to that effect from the prince, perhaps? I doubt it. Not that I don't trust His Highness, of course, but I would prefer to confirm it for myself. After all, thieves have a habit of hiding things rather well, don't you find? <laughs> well then, far be it from me to hinder you in your search. But please, do take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, no offense to our new friend, but I can't help thinking he's got something to hide. Bernard's story is certainly impressive. He built the gaming hall and earned himself a place on the Council of Elders, and all in the space of a few years. There were certain rumors, of course, but what newly made man is not dogged by the chatterings of the jealous. All the more reason to suspect him, says I. There's no smoke without fire. Maybe that minstrel can tell us something. Orpheus, was it? Couldn't hurt to ask. Is there anything you can tell us about him first, Gloria? Well, if I were being kind, I might describe him as committed to his craft. If I were feeling less generous, I'd say he was a raving egomaniac. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side. But that's good to know. We might be able to use it to our advantage. Let's track him down and see, shall we? Time to go find that jester. Let me see, can I play any of these tables? What about this guy? No. I guess that, no. It looks like the casino is just more for show. That's a bummer. I was really hoping that we'd be able to play, play some games. Um, I just feel like there's a chest hidden behind the stairs or something. Nope. Ooh. Very nice view. So there, oh, I see the chest. It's a, over here in the corner. Seven hundred and forty gold just laying in a chest, out in the open, in the middle of a casino. Ain't nothing weird about that. Aha! Here's his office. He's not gonna, he's not gonna talk to me. No. Just sit there. What if I sit in his chair? No. Bummer. All right. Well, he, he's not going to talk to me. I guess we'll head back out then. Go look for the jester. Let's see. Oh, all the way back at, at the front. That chest has been tempting me this whole time, <laughs> sitting across the water. It's him. Orpheus, where are you going? Whoa, why are you trying to pin me down? I'm a seeker, man, a poet. I go where the muse takes me. Wherever the wind blows, whenever the spirit moves me, that's my destination, baby. Uh-huh, so. Where are you going? Ugh, I'm wasted on you, you know that. Anyway, I don't have to tell you anything. Ugh, you're impossible. Fine. I'm off to the sand-swept ruins to bring a certain very special story to an end. Go on, go running off to Bernard and tell him like I know you will. Okay. I know better than anybody that a true artist needs dedicated fans, but why does Bernard keep the kid around? Loyalty is good and everything, but that kind of puppy dog stuff could really cramp a guy's style. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, look who it is. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, she's the tragic princess of a long lost land. And she cries a river while she stomps the sand. Will her crystal questing ever reach an end? Or will she die for duty? 
here without I'm wondering if he, him and Bernard or if he's and Bernard yeah. going to be the bosses. Or he you might be the first the boss one. and Bernard That's will be the a second classic one. in the making and no mistake. Oh, hey, Princess Gloria. I didn't see you there. Listen, I've got a dash, but I'd love to talk to you sometime about what it feels like to lose an entire kingdom. It'd make one heck of a song. <laughs> yeah, they're both evil. I don't he know about that woman that was here. Her. He certainly but. did. And judging by his song, he knows something about the crystals, too. Do you not get the feeling he's leading us a little by the nose? So what if he is? No harm in playing along, right? Then, when we get the chance, we turn the tables and squeeze him for everything he knows. Prince Custer, do you know the place he mentioned? Yes. The ruins are to the south of the city. I will lead the way. Already. I might have actually already gone there. Because I would I did a little exploring as well. Just kind of around and to to level up just a bit before we started here. So is it is it there's two sets of Yeah, okay, so it's these ruins. There's another set of ruins down that way, but yeah, I did a little exploring in here earlier. So I already got like three three chests or something area a great city once stood here before these lands fell to the sand war and deforestation laid waste to what was once green and pleasant so the desert came to be our ancestors were foolish indeed these sun-scorched sands are no place to make a life if only there were water in abundance. How many times I've dreamed of it. Prince Custer. Forgive me. This is neither the time nor the place. We must focus on the task at hand. Finding Orpheus. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna take me back where I was at earlier. Let's see. A new party chat. They got a lot of these. The Sandswept Wounds must be pretty old. They look like they've been out here falling to pieces for a long time. They're ancient indeed. One can almost feel the weight of history bearing down upon them. Spectacular performances were once held here beneath the glow of the setting sun. Yes, I once read that the tragedies in particular were renowned for their power. I commend you as always on the breadth of your knowledge, Princess Gloria. You really do know a heck of a lot. Oh, not really. I've always been rather voracious consumer of books, that's all. Sadly, I know no more than the theater than I learned in the back library back in Musa. I'm ashamed to say that I have never actually seen a play. Is that so, your highness? Well then, I shall have to arrange for a local troupe to perform for you at the palace. Thank you, Prince Castor. I should like that very much. But only once all the crystals have been restored to their rightful place, of course. Of course. The crystals continue to be our main priority. Forgive me for diverting your attention from the matter at hand. Aw. No romantic play-watching evening for you, Prince Pants. Romantic? I have no such thing in mind. Your Highness, believe me. Alright. Um, so let's see. Is that an enemy? Yep, it is. <laughs> I was like, it's moving too much. I don't, okay, I don't trust do random piles of sand moving. Ooh, what? Is that a worm? Two arms. Ugh. A sandworm. Okay, that's what it was. That is ugh, gross. Um. Two ninety-seven. All right. So let's uh, examine the sandworm, and then yeah, we'll just attack. Yeah. So a thousand. There are 1,500 health. Yeah. I've faced worse. Oh, what are the weak do? Water and axes. Well, that was a good thing we were using an axe. And then, yeah. We'll, we'll just hit this guy with our staff. Since he's vulnerable to it. And he has an 800. Uh, we might be able to kill him. 
Yeah, 200, 200 per hit. Yeah, we'll definitely get him. Gone. Did you see that? I'm amazing. All right, well, that was a sandworm. Uh, I guess we can't cross here. That's a dead end. Um, and there's four chests on this this area. I love how these guys are already afraid of me, and we just we just spawned in this dungeon. But they're already like, no, leave me alone. Um, yeah. what I hit? Was it another sandworm? I walked directly into it. I shall show it no was. mercy. Yep. Oh my goodness. To arms. Uh, let's see. Let's go against the Terra element first. Wonderful. We all have our weaknesses. Wonderful. Come and get it. Get some. Hit away. Very nice. Too easy. <laughs> She's almost gonna be level twenty too. Glory is really uh, up there now. We already fought plenty of those. Let me go down here. Is this somewhere we came to before? I think I can't. Uh, whew. And those guys go fast. I think it got. Uh, no, there's no chest in here. Maybe there was one up there. I can't believe I'm missing four. Oh, here's one. Now, how do I get in there? Is it this? Oh, no. You just go straight down. Duh. Uh, Glive, I got one of those already, so I'm not too worried about that. What about here? Aha! Another chest. Five antidotes. Two left. Which was more than just, um, telling you where they're at. It'd be nice if I had a dungeon map, or at least even after, like, I completed a dungeon, they were like, okay, now you can have a map to, like, get anything you missed. But nope. Alright. Um, is this back the entrance? This is the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So... Do we want to go this, this way? Down? That's a sandworm. We don't want that. That's the okay. Man, I can see how it gets. It's so easy to get lost in here without a map. I'm trying to remember the first way we went. I think this was it. Then you go up. Uh, yeah. How about this way? Oh gosh, I saw that last at the last second. I was like, is that moving? Yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh. Let us fight! Oh, there's two of them now. Ugh. Man, they sure know how to make Very enemies well. look absolutely disgusting in this game. Hey, Murray Mitchell. I'm doing good today. Very good. Starting day off early with some RPGs, so it's always it's always good. Um. I don't think it's enough to get him. But he'll get him close. Because we get a critical. Nope. I'm going all in! Alright. Uh two cross cuts on him and then Yeah, then yeah. Kill this other guy. 
perfect. Oh, what's next? I wonder. What's he weak to again? Water? Was a piece of cake. So <laughs> and color and mindfulness. Okay. Oh yeah, that's something we haven't done in a while. Is check our passive abilities. Uh, is almost heal. And then. Oops. Nothing on that. Nothing on that. Oh, there we go. What does this do? Restores an amount of MP based on damage inflicted when the with the attack command. Oh, okay. That's nice. So we get eight um, by hitting people with our rod. Um, uh, I think that's it. All right, we should be good there. Equipment. Ha! Give her the iron bow. Now she's got something other than we get a bow instead of two two staffs. Did I come? Was I here before? Yeah. Yeah, I was because that's what brought us down here. Okay. I'm making myself lost. We gotta go up the stairs, then all the way to the left, and then back down. I think. I'm pretty sure that's yeah this way, and then down. Because we came up those stairs. Aha! Ooh, yeah. I uh, when I was yep. Yeah, there's a the halfway point. And that was the chest I already came and collected. Because I had explored a little bit up here before. So I've already fought these guys. There's no way we're losing this one. Ooh, two of them. Huh. Come and get it. Whoa. And they're weak to lightning and swords, which we don't have any. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, what do we see? Lightning. Come and get it. And that'll kill one. Yep. There we go. And we got a couple MP back for that. You know what? Here, I'm gonna try try cure magic and then attack the rest of the way normally. Does it hurt? Oh, it does. Ooh, 600. Yeah. Oh, and it missed. It missed twice? We're so close. No. There we go. Prince Caster saved us. And we got another booster bun. So we can give some more HP to some people. Uh, let's heal though, because what's his name? Yeah, Elvis is not doing too good. Uh, so not that way, and not this way, but this way, I suppose. Let's go over here. Check this out. We'll fight another one of these big boys. Do I have any pets? Uh, nope. Not at this time. <laughs> They're sitting I've been thinking, I've really been thinking about uh, the cat. Allow me. Because I like cats, but um, yes. for right now, I know I don't have any. Um, how do you even say that? Diterobochi? Di Di sure. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh... <laughs> Come on. Yeah, 362 damage each turn. Does that feel better? Does that feel better? We're bringing him back to life. Yeah. 
Uh, and then... Eat sorcery! 253. 57. Nice. Okay. Here I go. Man, how does she keep missing on this dude? That's kind of crazy. Did he just default? Is that what that looks like? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all our HP is good, but it seems like everybody is low on magic. We must yeah. not grow complacent. What's my favorite game like, of all I time? Cannot be defeated. Uh, probably Xenoblade One. I would say that it used to, for the longest time, it used to be Super Metroid, um, and I still love Super Metroid. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Xenoblade One is, is my favorite game. I think the older I got, the more the more I got into JRPGs, and it's definitely it's definitely my favorite genre of gaming, um, for sure. What do we got? A mithril sword. Ooh, we, we might actually equip that. Um, Nope, it says the axe is better still. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, that's why I'm that's why I'm playing games like this. Uh, I just I don't know. I find them I find them to be relaxing. Uh, definitely, always, even since I was a child, um, been more into like single player style games instead of multiplayer. Like I enjoy multiplayer games, um, but to relax and just like play by myself and enjoy a story. I don't know. That's that's my favorite thing to do about video games. Uh, should we hit him? Yeah. yeah. Might as well get him. If I could go outside, I'd probably still be doing this, though. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, ooh, let's see. Now we're fighting two of them. With no MP? Ooh, that's a bummer. Uh, should we? Let's see. This guy's de defense is down 25%. Uh -oh. Man, even with the down HP, it's still not doing anything, I feel like. All right. Uh, Myself. Nothing like the long oh, very unfair. There's nothing. Safety first. Huh. Uh, nothing to worry about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let me help you. Be healed. Let me help you. Does that feel better? I'm not there we go. I'm all set. Oh wait, no, we don't need to pull strong strike on him. There we go. This should do it. Oh, and of course it missed. All right, we took one out. It's nothing. Hey, what's right. going on, Mason? Let's see. He's got to be close. That was nothing. 182. Finish him off. There we go. Very nice. Did you underestimate my powers grow yet? And now Gloria is level 20. Look at that. All right. Um. Well, this is a bummer because we can't really heal because we don't have. 
Everybody's low on health and everybody has like no MP. I'm wondering, we made it about halfway through this dungeon, right? We've, everybody seems to be scared of me. Look at that, everybody's running away. Um, if we actually don't just take the thing and go back. Cause it's right, it's, I mean it's right here. All right, I'm doing it. We have, a, we have the dungeon teleporter open. Let's just do this, go back to the inn. Heal, heal our MP and HP, and we'll come right back. Because the thing is, I don't know if, if this is going to be, you know, the farther we get into the game, dungeon's going to have, like, multiple teleporters or what, but, um, I figure we might as well just go do it now before we have to face whatever, whatever boss. I'm assuming it's going to be, what's his name? Uh, Orphean, the Jester. That's going to be the, so... The way it's kind of set up, there's two bosses per chapter. There's like the, the halfway through, like mid boss, and then there's the final boss of the chapter. So the mid boss of the prologue or whatever would be, um, what was it? Uh, Dag and Celine, and then um, the final boss would be what was his name? Hector, Hester, something like that. Something like that, yeah. There is eight people in the live stream this morning. Um, thank you for uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us because uh, I really appreciate it. I know it's I know it's early in the morning and uh, we're playing our JRPG, which isn't always the the most uh, exciting. I don't know. It's exciting for me, but like I said, it doesn't it does it tends to do not very good on views. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for thank you guys for being here. I just really enjoy it. So that's why we're going to keep playing. We're going to beat this entire game. And I'm off. Uh, I don't have to work again until Friday. So uh, I'm off like all week this week. So it's kind of it's kind of perfect timing for me to uh, play some Brave New Default. Because obviously, you know, the, the games uh, get... These JRPGs are really long. So... We got plenty of time to play. Uh, the countdown begins for Monster Hunter Rise. Dude, we're so close. Me and me and Master Matt were talking the other day. We're like, you know what? Who sh who should definitely come back for Rise is Zamtrios. I don't know whether we've we haven't seen one yet, officially yet, um, but it's probably I would say in my top three. I would say my top three uh, monsters to fight so far is uh, Zamtrios, um, Mizusune, and uh, Gormagala. I don't know. I really like those. Come and get it. All right. Is anybody weak to axe? No. Well, that's a bummer. Um... We do a cross cut on this guy. Ba -bum, ba -bum. I need something that like weakens uh, weakens defense. When you finish this game, what game are you playing next? Well, I definitely have to find some time to go back and finish up uh, Path of Radiance because we were in the middle of that. Um, Very well. For this month specifically. Uh, it might take us all the way up till Monster Hunter Rise to beat this game. That for sure is with what I know is coming next. Um, yeah. So if you're a big Monster Hunter fan, come hang out with me because that game is going to be huge. I cannot tell you guys enough how good it's going to be. Um, even if you're not Monster Hunter fans, give it, give it, give it a chance because this is going to be like the perfect opportunity for fans who have never played a game before to uh, to join in. They're making it super accessible to everybody, so, um, and in a good way. Like, it's, it's not going to be like, oh, it's too easy now. Like, no, there's still some challenge to it, but, um, it's, uh, like, they, they cut some of the, the slog, I guess you would say. They made it more streamlined, and it, it, it's, very, it's very good now. Uh, Master Luke, are you getting the Monster Hunter Rise Pro Controller? Uh, and switch system. No. <laughs> I already have three switches. I don't need a fourth one. 
Uh, I have the base one, the Smash one, and the Animal Crossing one. Um, and as much as I love the design of the Monster Hunter Rise one, I just don't know if I can... I can convince myself to buy a fourth Switch. <laughs> I only have so many TVs too, so it's like, uh I mean, here's the, here's the thing. I have three Switches. I don't, I don't even have two at my house. The third one, uh, one of my friends has. Because I just, there's no reason for me to use three of them. But the Pro Controller, I am getting that. <laughs> so, um, yes. Yeah. I'm going to see if we can play some more Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate before, before the release of... I did one stream earlier, uh, what was it, back in, it was either last month or back in January. Either way, this year I did do a Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate stream, um, and you, you guys seem to like that, so that was good, uh, so if you, if you don't know anything about Monster Hunter, go, it shouldn't, it should still be on the first page of, of my, uh, my channel. So if you want to go check out that stream, uh, to kind of get an idea of what Monster Hunter is all about, you can go check that out. Uh, it's me and Master Matt playing together, so uh, it's all a good time. Darn, do we really miss a? Oh, that's a that's a sandworm. Not doing that. Uh, how do we miss the chest? How do we miss a chest? Let's see. Uh, maybe it, it's it's probably past this guy. Let's just hit him. Let's get, get it over with. Oh yeah, don't forget this. Uh, what is it? Like what am I trying to say? Uh, Thursday? Thursday is the Pyromether stream? Don't forget about Let that, guys. See. That is going to be awesome. Um, seriously, like, that's... It's been the character I've wanted since the DLC Fighter Pass was announced. Go back to my... You could go back to my original, like, when they, when they were... It was like a Nintendo Direct before the game had come out, and they're like, we're making Fighter Pass 1, and then they showed the Rex costume, me costume, and I was like, no! <laughs> it hurts so bad. Um, but, no, it's, dude, I'm so, I'm so happy they're in the game. People are going to cry about it, but whatever. People cry about every character. They were upset with Hero. I think even I was upset with Hero, to be honest. Now I'm, now I totally take that back. Hero's awesome. Um, people were upset with bio. It's like whatever. You know what? I'm I, at this point. I don't care. I'm I'm gonna have Let's a good time with them. You know. I didn't really want Steve to be honest, but there we got him. Go. I don't hate Steve, but like I just I just don't play Minecraft enough to really care. So I mean, it's cool. I'm happy for the people that got him. I I get why he's in. He's a very iconic character. Um, but I'm not gonna cry about it. Yeah, and Dragon Quest is big in Japan. That, so that makes sense why uh, uh, why Hero was, was put in. I still think I still even think Monster Hunter has a pretty good chance of getting to be one of the last two fighters. Let me. was a piece of cake. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I didn't even get... There we go. Oh, of course, a nasty surprise emerges from the chest. Who is hiding inside the chest? Let's stay focused. Of course it is. Very well. More restless souls. I remember the Game Award 2018 and it did a, a big bomb announcement for Joker for Smash. Well, I remember the <laughs> the Game Awards announcement for this, this game. Remember? I was like the only person. It actually got good views because I was like the only person who wanted this game. I was like, oh, Bravely Default 2, that looks awesome. And everybody was just like, so there's nothing at the Game Awards. I'm like, no, but we got a Bravely Default 2 trailer. And they're like, yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> I was the only one who was interested in this game back when it was first announced. I don't know, I've, I've seen a couple people talk about it on Twitter. 
not a ton. Uh, but I didn't really expect anything crazy. Not dead yet? Man. Let me see. There we go. 87 health. Alright. Your tail ends here. Easy breezy. <laughs> A Gaia shield. Ooh. Let's see if we can equip that. Yeah. Oh, a broad axe. And a Gaia shield. I like it. All right. Feel me up there? Everything looking good? Ooh, you know what? I don't want to fight him. We could, but I'm tired of fighting those dudes. Uh, let's save here. Do I want to place a tent down? No. I won't worry. I won't worry about a tent. Let's just go fight the boss. Orphean. Folks, please welcome to the stage the incomparable talent that is Princess Gloria. Your Highness, I'd like to take this opportunity to play you something really special. My latest and greatest masterwork. All right, when we it's get to beat this guy It's about a lone hero who goes through hell after being chased from his homeland, but who finally, at long, long last, Gets his chance. Let me at guess. Vengeance. You're that person who got chased so, away. So, Gloria, if you'd care to join me, you know the words. I'll teach you the tune. I will right, play no go. part in this farce, Orpheus. Whoa, <laughs> farce! This is no such thing. You know how long I've had to wait for this. It's nothing short of a tragedy and a revenge tragedy at that. Ah, sweet, sweet retribution. What are you even talking about? Retribution for what, exactly? You were outed as a dirty wee embezzler and banished for your crimes. <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame for that, pal. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You don't know my life. You don't know how hard it's been. I'll never forget what was done to me. Never! And now, I finally got my chance for revenge. I'm going to take it. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. So shut up and die! That's a fancy little cane he's got there. All right. <laughs> do you have any idea what I've been through since I got kicked out of Musa? Drinking ditch water like an animal, crawling around like an insect because I was too hungry to stand. Did you ever stop to think about that, princess? Can you even imagine it? Well, you seem like you're doing uh, never, pretty good for yourself right now. That's for sure. Never. All that pain, all that suffering. That's what turned me into the tortured artist you see before you today. Uh, what? So now he's down. He's down four great points. All right, let's see what's going on here. Stacking buffs and debuffs. Uh, effects when temporarily boost attributes known as buffs effects with as debuffs. Multiple buffs and debuffs can be used at once, making them very handy tools indeed. There are limits to how much you can uh, attributes can be altered, though. However, check it. Okay, basically, that's what we were talking about earlier. You can't go past 200%. Most effects will expire after the set number of turns, so make sure to keep an eye on this whether you're using them on enemies or allies. Okay, um, so let's check out him. So he's down three. 
800, 700 HP. Alright. So... He's poisoned, that's fine. Um, check Orpheus. What is these? What is it? Um, so these guys are all buffed. But he's down 25% physical damage. So let's see. Um, white magic. What else can we do? Increases the target's physical. Okay, that's all of us. And magical. What about... Uh, okay. I'm trying to take his defense down. Let's just... See, I'm just, I kind of want to just wait till these guys wear off. All right, let's let's see where he's at. So 10,000 HP, and he's vulnerable blows. Okay, that's convenient. All right, um, and then I'm just wondering if if I attack these other guys, if they're just gonna respawn, but once they're dead, they're dead. Um, I guess we'll attack the one and see what happens. Let me out of Uh, weak to nope. None of these are weak to any of the axes. Let's just start, start taking some of these guys out. Once it's just four on one, it'll make it a lot easier. And then what's the most water water's damage? He's gonna do the top, yeah, toxic holes. Okay. Let's hit that four times. What? What is that doing though? Sorry, magical defense. Okay. He's the closest to death, Elvis. That's actually Elvis. Right? Mm -mm. mm. Alright. Oh, now Glory is the closest. Alright, let's see here. What are we gonna do? It really sucks that we're poisoned. Um, and she's dead. Okay. Elvis is almost dead. Did he even really just... Oh. Hurt so bad. Let me get, he's just buffing their attack. Four times over. You're all, right. Right? all right. Let's see here. So items. We'll start with a phoenix down on her. How, who's closest to death here? Bur... Uh, no, I want to go after the... Toxical. And then antidote. Uh, no, actually, she's dead, so she's a poison. But we don't have to worry about that. And then, and then treat Elvis. We're just yeah, we're just gonna treat everybody. So we're gonna heat. Yeah, we're gonna use her. So bring her back. Treat Elvis. Treat Seth, and then treat myself. Trick you. So plus 80 physical damage. Ooh, I gotta kill these guys fast. Oh my goodness. Yeah, don't worry about the bird. The bird will. Oh wait. Only has 50. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Toxicals have 80, 80 though. But I could kill the... I kill the bird really fast. Um... Hopefully this is enough. Cure everybody. Oh, thanks for okay. Okay. Uh, only one yeah. okay, good, 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 good. Alright. 447. You can do this. Ooh! Yeah, that was a huge target all this every time. I'm really hoping these guys don't come back. Actually, what's it needed to activate special? Okay. Uh, Nothing right now that I can see. 305 versus 380. All right, let's just kill this guy. Right. Good. Now attack. Yes. Good. 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 Don't attack Orpian. We need to bring back Elvis. See, now he has nobody to buff. Alright. You're going to regret hurting my friends. Uh, what's he at? He's got one great point up. He's at 8,000. What is this? Uh, can penetrate? Ooh! D can penetrate the target's default defense. But it burns 300 HP. Hey, you know what? Why not? Um, does it knock him out of it, though? So subsequent attacks? Or it can only... Let's see. Restore user's HP, cure, poison, blind... Oh, okay. Um, and then... What else? No, he's only weak to water. Strong strike? Yeah, sure. And then we'll... We'll just attack him. <laughs> Heal myself. Boom. Oh, okay, so he didn't break it out, break him out of it. That's okay. Please, you must What's his defense up. down? Twenty-five percent magic and physical defense. Okay, that's good. Um. Let's see. No, we want to uh, raise. He's still the Vulcan, right? So then... And heal her. And then heal... Her. And then, actually, also Elvis. Let there we go. So now that, now that everybody's... Right. Time for a spider then. What? Okay, so uh, yeah, everybody's pretty good on health now. Okay. Elvis is the only one who's gonna attack, but that's okay. And we're gonna burn all of his. Um, uh, it's water, yeah, yeah, water. This is magical defense is down 25% as well. What does that do? The, the lilting lullaby? I can't tell what it's doing. Is it decreasing my defense or something? It does, it's not saying. I need to vault one more time. Okay, now he's just gonna bump himself. So he's got eh, 25 uh, magical defense down still. I'm going on. I don't know why I can't use my my special. Um, Music. 
Uh, let's see where he's at. Oh, he's got three Brave Points all stocked up. That's fun. Uh, he's weakened, but he's also got 20... Uh, plus 20 physical strength. Um, still fight that. So he's at like half health. Um, as long as he doesn't respawn those other dudes, I'll be alright. For now, I think... I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna default. <laughs> And Elvis is dead. God. You will regret your So raise him. Then cure basically everybody. Hit that twice and then attack him once. Does that feel better? Oh, that's a Let stuff. me help you. Sorry to be a pain. Does that feel better? Ah, much better. Wonderful. I'm up, huh? So he's back to one. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stock up with her again. Alright, now that he's not. Strong strike. I can pull two of those and then. Just attack the rest. 400. Ooh, and a miss. 162. Oh! But it's nothing compared to the pain that burns inside my soul. I'm going to channel it all into my work. That's how masterpieces are born. Time for you to bow out, princess. There's only one starring role in this production. Uh, water. How much? Ooh, I only have 58 left. Yeah. Might as well use the rest up. 620. Ooh, nice. 306. And then next to be. Who's going next? Uh, Glory's going next. We got 500. Yeah, we'll be alright. Ooh, only 75. Yeah. 2003 Let's see if I Oh, I can only use that on me. Stores 20%. What else can I do? Let's see. Um. Yeah. Hey, Let me so, for her, it's going to be... Kira, all we'll do pull that twice and then attack him twice. Oh, thanks for bailing me out. Well, that was kind of a waste, but whatever. I only need to do it once. Um, strong. You know what? I can pull four strong strikes right here. Oh, miss. Come on. So one of these has got to hit. 437. Yes. I'm burning my own HP, but that's fine. 438. She, she can survive with one attack. And of course. Yep. Now he's going to hit him a whole bunch. 
771, what? All right, she's dead. Ooh, this is a not good. Um, I really thought... Ooh, Elvis is back. Okay, good. Hands up. And Gloria. Okay. Where are we at? 762 damage. Okay. All right, we're, we're really close. We can do this. We're going to brave through this last little bit. We only have 7 uh, MP. That's okay. We can hit ourselves with a what? A, uh, an ether. That's going to give us 60. And then, so we can do... Two blizzards. Actually, we can pull all blizzards. Aye, that should do it. Yeah. Eat sorcery. 109. Don't know what that does. 108. Useless. 105. Let me. 440. Jeez, man. Uh. I'm going all in. He's still defaulted. Who's? Gloria's gonna go out next. See, this is the thing. If I don't do this right, he's gonna he's gonna wipe us up all apart. All right. So items, we'll do the same same deal. Um, hit us hit myself with a mini ether. Then do treat. Oh no, I don't have anything that can hit treat everybody. Uh, well, I guess we're just gonna go heroics then. Cause now. I hope it. let's do it. Ooh. Yes. Good job. No, it's Elvis dead, so she doesn't get any of the experience. I should have I should have given her a Phoenix Down. Whoops. That's a bummer. Oh, I should have uh, Well, whatever. We we know now. We'll give her her the exper uh, job experience later. So what is this? The Jester? Ooh, the Bard. Bard plays a supporting role in combat through the use of songs. A single one which can uh, turn the side of battle. So it's... Okay, so it's basically the same deal. They're just going to buff. Buff yourself and debuff the enemy. Uh, reduce physical damage to multiple targets by 15 for three turns. Stats can not be reduced below 65% of their base value. Reduce magical damage to multiple targets by 50% for three turns. Stats cannot be reduced below 65%. Very nice. All right, we did it. Very good. Man, I'm just... I'm angry with myself that I let her die. Seriously denied my revenge? After all I've done... Oh. I hate my life. Oh, spare us. Now, where is the crystal? You think I'm just going to tell you? Yes, unless you'd prefer me to crush your throat so that you'd never be able to moan about how hard your life is again. Or sing, for that matter. N no, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Bernard has it. Something went wrong when he tried to use it, and he flooded the city. So it was him, after all. The fool. What a big shot. And where is it now? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where he hid it. He only told me that he had it, I promise. So, after all your big talk, you basically don't know anything. It doesn't surprise me. I wouldn't tell this weasel my secrets either. Still, we know Bernard has it now at least. And we have another asterisk to boot. Aha! And what do we have here? This is something new. The crowd's getting ugly, Lord Bernard. They're asking for you to put in a special guest appearance. Hmm. I'm very annoying of them. Deal with it, will you? I don't care how, just get it done. Your wish is my command. <laughs> What was that? How did you... But no one could have... Whatever. Looks like it's now or never. <laughs> what the... 
<laughs> he he batmaned out of there. Caught you the smoke bomb went, You should know I'm by out. now I'm always ready to make a dramatic exit. Orpheus! Later, losers. Catch you on the flip side. Forget him for now. <sighs> My men will apprehend him soon enough. I... I owe you all an apology. Huh? My behavior towards you back at the palace was... unforgivable. Having seen you fight, mm. I realize now how blind I've been. Hey, no need to go overboard. We didn't take it personally. You are more kind to me than I deserve. Hey, Elvis. What was that we saw before? When your book glowed up like that? Well, I told you it reacts to asterisks, didn't I? The ones we got our hands on in Halcyonia helped me read a little more of the writing inside it. But this time, we seem to have been shown something from the past of the asterisk's previous owner instead. I, I I've no idea why though, so don't go asking me to conjure up visions at will. And I guess that means we're no wiser than we were before, right? But no less wise either, eh? And that's the whole point of traveling the world in search of knowledge. To keep putting the pieces together until it all finally makes sense. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? A bird? Is something the matter? Uh, no. <laughs> it's nothing. Plans for success. Now that you have more asters to play with, uh, it's thinking about how this might affect your character development plans. You need to consider which main jobs and sub-jobs are the best combination. What passive ability you might want to bring into play. You can use uh, through all that. Make sure to take a look. Okay. Um, yeah. I actually think I might change... Uh, what's his name? Elvis to a... A bard. Bard type. Let's see. How far along is he... In the Black Mage. Well, he's got... He's all the way up to level 9. He's really close. I'm wondering if we should just take him up to level 12 or not. I don't know. That's hard to say. Uh, hmm. Reduce... Okay, so that's... I mean, we could always uh, change the freelancer and make him a bard uh, as his main job and then put uh, Black Mage as his sub job. That works. And then her main job would be a monk, and then her sub job would be a vanguard. I like that. And then you said a monk is the sub job and then for her we're gonna put a black mage as a sub job so she's got all the magical powers I like that okay we'll go with that for right now looks good to me um get back to that one okay should be a How's the save point? Is there no skip point right here? I thought there was. We can wise as well save. Now that we've uh, gotten to the halfway point of the chapter. Beaten our first boss. Now we gotta uh, to go defeat Bernard. I'm sure there's we're gonna have to go through it in a second dungeon or whatever and then go feet, defeat Bernard. But whatever. It is what it is. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking of it, items. Yeah, we did get a... Uh, Booster bun. Uh, restorative power. Give that to, uh, to Gloria. And then see equipment. Now that we've changed, it's worth. Oh, we can both give him Metzel staff. Okay. I didn't know if it was worth, worth it now that we've changed jobs to give him different equipment. I think it was right over here was the portal. Yep. Mm. And we got all the chests, so that's complete. All kinds of good stuff. Wait a second, there's a green quest over there. What's the green what's the green quest? Uh deliver a long lunch. Deliver the lunch to the ruins. 
All right, well, I don't remember anything about that, but we're here, so we might as well get this quest done. While we're here. So we gotta go... I don't remember anything about this. Is that my lunch? Forgive me, friend. You are too kind. This is just perfect. Oh, wait. My lunchbox only? Where is my flask, I wonder? I hate to bother you, but could I ask that you inquire with my wife as to its location? Of course. Of course! We're, so we're gonna have to backtrack all the way here again. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I don't know, maybe this game has a habit of making you go to previous locations for other stuff. So it won't be so much of a hassle, but... We shall see. Ooh, Bernard. what a nice roast. How many times? Not while I'm eating. The smell of you is enough to turn a man's stomach. Oh, awful feral creature. But... I have just taken delivery of a simply divine vintage. Do not disturb me. Unless, that is, you wish to return to the squalor from which you came? Sorry. Fine clothes, fine music, and fine food and drink. What else does a man live for? How else can one revel in the glory of existence? I... I'm sorry. Please don't send me away. Oh, stop fretting, you foolish child. Shut up and do as I say, and all will be just as it should be. Okay. There's a good girl. Anyway, I've finished now. Make your report. Orpheus attacked the princess as you ordered, but he was beaten and now he's run away. <laughs> Pathetic. I had thought his history with the Royal nuisance would be sufficient to spur him on, but it seems not. Very well, you may leave. Hmm. And what to do now, I wonder? I suppose the first order of business will be a little chat with a certain interested party. So he's hiring some people? So maybe he isn't the uh, boss chapter. Chapter boss, what am I saying? <laughs> Got that backwards. Maybe we'll fight him later. Something will happen, he'll run away. He'll send some other goons after us. That'll be that. Alright, party chat. He makes my skin crawl. I cannot stand that Orpheus guy. The way he speaks, even the way he moves, literally everything about him makes my skin crawl. So why the heck can't I stop his stupid face from popping up every time I try not to think about it? I get that too sometimes. The more you try not to think about somebody, the more you can't help it. <sighs> and now it's happening again. I literally see his stupid grin. It's horrible. You're probably still annoyed by because he got away. I know I am. What's done is done. The matter is in Prince Caster's hands now. You knew Orphis back in Musa, right, Gloria? Was he always such a pain? Well, he was certainly always a rather dramatic person, prone to exaggeration and so forth. Prone to narcissism and self-obsession, more like it. I'm guessing he's always been nothing but talk, though, right? Like, as soon as he gets going, uh, gets tough, he falls to pieces. Precisely. No wonder he'd rather feel sorry for himself for having been caught stealing from your father than face his actual problems. Yeah, there really isn't a single good thing about him, huh? Well, at least I know why he gets, uh, me so badly now. Thanks, Gloria. Of course. I'm not sure, <laughs> sure how I helped, though. All right. Um, was there something else in the desert that I had to do? Oh, there was that this spot, which I have no clue what to do with. Maybe it's defeat the goblin archers? Get back here! No! We're going to get you. That's right. We have to defeat three of them. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's put the bed! Oh, well, here's one of them. Here I go. Oh wait, no, there is two. All right. Um. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! 
All right, so let's see. Singing. Uh, reduce physical damage to multiple targets. And we can still use all the Black Mage abilities, which is awesome. Um, I I'd, I'd rather just hit him with my staff. Let me see. Was a piece of cake. <laughs> Level two bard. Very nice. So you only so your sub job only gets you experience for. Um, actually, your sub job doesn't get any. You only get experience Let's for your main this. job. Your sub job you can still use the abilities. You just can't. Right. Well, well, you just can't gain experience on it unless it's your main job. I think I got that right. There we go. Um, what we got? So forgot about. Now that we're doing this. There should be. Uh, no, I have no bard passive abilities. Interesting. I guess we're not there yet. I thought there was always one passive ability you got just for having it equipped. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I should also go and um, back to the first town and grab uh, whatever quest. I think it was what? You had to go find a book or something from somebody? Use the wagon. Prince Caster, I have been looking for you everywhere. And now you have found me. Princess Gloria, I must insist that you refrain from taking the prince out of the city without notifying the relevant authorities. I was not taken anywhere, Dromed. I went of my own free will. Your Highness, whilst I understand your desire to aid our nation's allies, might I remind you that Musa is no more. There is precious little benefit to be gained from spending your valuable time on lost causes. Whoa! Aren't you highborn people supposed to be polite? I am simply stating the truth. Musa may be no more, Dromed, but our duty to Princess Gloria is very much alive and well. Her Highness and her friends will remain until such time as they have ascertained the truth of the situation regarding the crystal. And during that time, they will continue to be our honored guests. But, 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 uh, as you wish, Your Highness. But please, I must beg you to conclude your dealings here quickly, Princess Gloria, for Savalon's sake. When your business here is done, Prince Custer, you are needed at the palace. Can't say I'm feeling too welcome right now. Well, you can hardly blame them for not wanting the prince bogged down with our business. Uh, the king is missing after all. Dromid means well, I assure you. Forgive him. Oh, please. It's entirely understandable. I'm sure I would feel exactly the same in his position. You are too kind as ever, Your Highness. You know, I get the feeling that our distracting the Prince isn't all that Dromed's worried about. It seems to me that he has another reason for wanting us out of the way. I cannot begin to imagine what else might be on his mind. But I will ask him, if it makes you feel better. For now, I must return to the palace. I will rejoin you when my business there is concluded. Being a prince must be hard work. Not that we have it easy, I guess. Aye. Someone tells me Bernard's not going to be telling us where he's hidden this crystal without some arm twisting. Perhaps his companion can help us. The girl. Yeah. What was her name again? Anyhow? Yes, that was it. 
Let's see if we can track her down. All right, so Caster leaves the party. That's all right. Um, we're gonna actually go skip back to Halcyonia. Um, just so we can grab the quest, get that all complete, and before we move forward. Oh, man. There we go. Oh my, there's l Look at all these quests. Look at all these quests. Jeez. Yikes. Uh, well, we might be doing some questing then. All right. Got the book from the old man, or the kid. We got a lightweight tome. All right. So, let's see here. Is there any up top? Okay, this is the first one. Way over here. My goodness, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of quests to do. All right. Oh, even our own party members have quests. Interesting. <laughs> What's got you so excited, Adele? Me? Oh, the innkeeper's been telling me about all the local cuisine. Did you know Halcyonia's famous for its food? I can't wait to try some. Oh, yeah? What kind of food are we talking about here? All kinds, but seafood mainly. Shellfish and seasonal vegetable bouillon, a squid wrapped in seaweed. But the dish I like the sound of best is the silver smelt sautéed in lemon butter. Hmm. I do like seafood. S silver smelt? People eat those things? You know what they are? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty rare. But sometimes they get tangled up in our nets. They look, well, kind of weird. Ugh. What kind of person would even think of taking a bite out of one of those? They're certainly not the prettiest. But you wait till you taste one. Mmm. Nothing brings out that flavor like a knob of butter and a squeeze of lemon. A knob Pop of butter. Two nice fluffy potatoes on the side, and there's simply nothing better. It does sound like oh, a good meal. I have to try this. Sure, it sounds delicious, but silver smelt? Seriously? Do they really look all that disgusting? <laughs> Gosh! Now I really want to try some. All right, I'm sold. I'll take the silver smelt and make it snappy. Ah, uh, there's just one thing, sorry. I should have mentioned this, but I got a little carried away. I'm afraid we're all out of butter. Have been for a while now. Oh, so that's where the quest there's part comes in. There's been word of a wolf on the road to the city, you see. The merchants we rely on are all too scared to make the trip. No ordinary wolf, mind you. They say it's the size of a small mountain and capable of eating a whole flock of sheep in one sitting. But if we get rid of it, you'll cook me some fish, right? Right? Well, yes, I suppose, but... Say no more. One giant wolf pelt coming up. You've right. really never seen a silver smelt, huh? Oh, quit sniping. Everyone's a winner. No more wolf for these guys to worry about, and I get to try something new. Well, come on. Where's the harm? Huh? Huh? You get pretty antsy when you're hungry. Hey, that's what everybody back home used to say. Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Fine. All right. Whereabouts can we find this wolf? On the north road, if the room is to be believed. Great. Let's get out there and find it. For the sake of your livelihood. And Adele's stomach. Oh, I'd say the latter is your more immediate concern. <laughs> you too? Oh, fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll be outside. Hey! Oh, man. Guess I better get after her. All right, let's go hunt a uh, wolf. Is a four-star quest? Ah, psh. Easy. What is this thing? Horton's Diary. Truly, the power of the asterisk knows no bounds. My brother was a formidable warrior, and yet I was able to overcome him with ease, and barehanded, no less. All I need to do is concoct a story about him being kicked to death 
by the rampaging horse, and no one will be any other wiser. He killed his own brother? What? Uh, at last, nothing stands in the way of my becoming Prime Minister. Now all that remains is to marry off that bothersome Princess Gloria to some, someone suitably compliment, compliant and appropri uh, appropriate the Wind Crystal. The only potential fly in the ointment is her insufferable old chaperone, Sir Sloan. Still, nothing the mercenaries and I have an engaged shunt be able to handle. If I lend them the asterisks Lord Adam gave me, they should make short work of him. It's a foolproof plan, and when it succeeds, and if succeed it shall, Halcyonia will be mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I need it? You know what? Uh, that was yeah. Let's let's just hang out here for the night. It's only 80 gold, so psh, yeah, to get some magic points. It's better than buying a whole bunch of potions and stuff. Speaking of which, we could probably, hopefully there's a, well, potions do health, elixirs do magic points. So, we have a bunch of mini elixirs. Maybe there's some actual, like, normal elixirs now. Uh, or ethers, I mean, sorry. No? There's no... All they have is a bunch of, like, random garbage. Nothing new here. I mean, I guess this is the first town still. Alright. Never mind that. What happened to all the quests, though? Oh, there they are. Alright. Bell of the ball. Collect some rock tail feathers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And what's this all about? Oh, wrong one. Oh, I'm talking it. No, let me talk to the person standing at the bar. There we go. Uh -huh. This is just terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. Aye, well, you'll care in the morning if you carry on like this. I tell you what, why don't I help you polish off that little lot in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. Wait, how exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Everyone's a winner. Uh, okay. So who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, no. No. I, I just ran into him. I met him at this bar. I thought I'd better not leave him by himself. So uh oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand on it, boy? Uh, sure. If you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible. Awful. <laughs> First of all, the water's trying to rise. And that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved. Which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You'd think that was bad enough. But things got <clears throat> worse. I was making my way home empty handed when I was attacked by a snagger. Is it a haber? Sir Hagen. Obviously, I ran for my life. But I was so panicked that I dropped my precious knife. What is it with people it's and just like, they're like, oh, enemy. See, Guys, I gotta get rid of it and run. This little when knife, I you know, that weighs like one pound. Fledged fisherman. Gotta, gotta go. A gift from your master. Eh? Then we have to get it back for you. All right. Let's, Don't go, worry, let's get on this quest I'm and on go find this guy's knife. No, no. I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Look, Seriously, man. pal. Don't worry about it. We can handle a sahagin or two. But... Look, this knife. Your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better, I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? Well... Yeah. All right then. 
<laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? All right. Oh, that was just the second quest in general? Okay. Are there any more to pick up? Uh, three more. Okay. This guy. Gold in the grass. Uh, find an old man's gold dentures. Okay. Two stars. Uh, one boy quest, or one star. Search for the town, search town for the boy. And... Quest number 11, hear the wind blow. Find the old man who is fond of the wind. One star quest. Okay. Is it? Oh, here we go. There's two thing, two things down here. One's gotta be the boy, and one's gotta be the man who's fond of wind, I suppose. Dinner time. Well, I don't care. I'm staying here. Who needs food when you have the sweet melody of the breeze? Oh, just listen to that. Tell my granddaughter I'll be home soon, but the sublime symphony of the wind has died down. Uh, there was another one down here, wasn't there? Aha. Uh -huh. It's in the whole house. Go in the house. What's he doing? There we go. <laughs> what do you want? What's that? My mom's worried about me. <sighs> I haven't found anything good yet. It's her birthday soon, so I'm looking for a perfect present, and I don't want to just buy it in the shop, so I'm trying to scavenge something special. You tell her we'll be back soon. Oh, and don't breathe a word about the present, will you? Okie dokie. So neither of them want to come back. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, these two. Whew. You know, I'd have to cut the apron strings at some point, but I didn't think it would happen so soon. They grow up so fast. All right. Uh, condition, wait, what? Report back, don't report back. Uh, nah. But he'll change his tune, uh, having steak. Okay. Let's go tell him he's, <laughs> We're having steak, and then maybe now he'll go. Steak, and they're getting cold. All right. <laughs> well, dang, man, that's all you had to say. All right, Grand's dead. He's still full of beans. Nothing but trouble. <laughs> but I'd better get grilling. Medium rare, you say? All right. Uh, report. Report back. Is that how I finish off the quest? I suppose. Alright. Mm -hmm. I wish there was like a quest log or something because the only thing I get in here... Oh, no, not items. Uh, is this travel log. Which, yeah, is sometimes helpful. But, like, the memories... You have quest events, but you don't have, like, there is no, like, that I've, I've been able to find. Is it under lore? No, oh, this is just monster guides. Let's take a look at the bosses. Do we, do we miss a boss somewhere? Selene, Dag, Horton, Adam, somebody, Morpheus. Hm. Maybe we did. Uh, but yeah, there's no, like, uh, like, quest journal or anything like that, which is actually quite annoying. I really wish there was a quest journal. Unless it's somewhere else that I haven't found. Maybe it's the plus button. I don't know. Does it bring up quests? Let's see. That brings up that. Nope. Oh, L just puts, puts the camera right directly in front of you. Or directly behind you. Okay. Uh, let's see. It looks like all of the all of the quests are over this way. Which, if I'm not wrong, this is, should take us to the the other the second dungeon up on the the root. I know one of them is we got to kill some rocks to get some rock feathers. Some uh, some of those birds.
Still no map, though. That's quite annoying. Get back here, stupid rock. Gotta get some gotta get some feathers from you. We have the upper hand. Here, we'll, I'm gonna put the, the fast battle speed back on. Let me see. There we go. Times four battle. We're just gonna we're just gonna spam through this. Another piece of cake. A remedy? Okay, not not what I was looking for, but okay. No! Stop running away! Oh, and it brought the other guy in. Not like we really needed to because we're hunting <laughs> rocks. Sitting ducks. Here I go! Allow me. I might not! There's more of them! You're right! I cannot be defeated. Still no feathers. This is gonna suck. <laughs> no, I went the wrong way. <sighs> I'm serious. This whole like no no maps thing is really a bummer. Let me let me double check and make sure this isn't. They're all in Savalon. All right. No, because the rocks are here. I don't know. We're just we're just gonna keep going through the path. We're gonna take the long way. We'll take the long way. I'm sorry, guys. I should have I should have looked. Hopefully there'd be a nope. There's no uh teleporter. The save spot, but no teleporter. Alright, let's just keep going. Should be coming up. Um so one of these people knows like a steel mechanic, right? Oh no, that's only for um Look, Very there's five well. of them. Alright. Yes. Somebody's, somebody's got to drop a feather, right? Five. Tail feather. There we go. We got one. We got yeah one. How nice. I just remember these guys being super difficult before. But now they should be pretty easy. The yeah. open gets stuck in. Very well. Mm-hmm. 
I guess, uh, no, I was gonna say they probably don't put them in the dungeon, but that's not true, because we did go to that other dungeon that had it. Alright, well, we're back to hell, um, Savalon. For whatever reason, we took the, the long path. Maybe it only marks like the top four quests because I'm pretty sure I've accepted more than four. Maybe that's what it is. And so the other quests were in there, we just never grabbed them. Alright. We've got the flask. I'm gonna take that back back to the, the dungeon. Is this a new quest? Oh, this is a new okay quest. Though? I'm fine. I just wish I could say the same about my shoes. Yeah, looks like they've seen better days. <laughs> you should get some new ones. I know. But these are... well... What's up with you two, eh? What are you both staring at? Crikey! The stare of your shoes, Adele! They look like a hungry goblin's had a munch on them. Hey! Don't say that. These are the shoes you... Wait, I passed a wee footwear emporium not long back. You can get a new pair from there. Well, it's a classy place, so I tell you what, I'll go on ahead and smooth the way. Hey, wait. Elvis? Elvis? Oh, why do you never listen? Uh, guys? All right, heart and soul. Help find some new shoes for Adele. Uh, well, we'll do that in a little bit. Um, where's the other? They're over there. All right, is this the the shoe shop? No, this looks like some. Oh, there's Elvis. So this is the fabulous new tome that has sent me. Well, it may be somewhat slim, but my eyes know quality when they see it. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Quest 19 complete. Mm. It's weird, I like it. I don't know why I have to basically ex like say yes, I'm done with this quest, unless I'm missing stuff. Haven't bought a yet, huh? Well, I'm trying, but how many times must I tell you we are closed? See, big man here is no being very cooperative. Don't tell me. You said something stupid, and now he won't serve you. What are you on about? I haven't done anything. Look, pal, be reasonable, eh? You can sell us one wee pair of shoes, surely? No. I cannot. I must go and look for my beloved Diana. Her poor little thing. What's the matter, sir? Has this Diana gone missing? Yes. Her evening meal dissatisfied her, and she ran out of the house. I have not seen her since. I cannot help but fear she will spend yet another night gallivanting hither and thither. Wow. That doesn't sound good. How old is she? She is three. Three? Oh. No wonder nice. you're worried. Okay, you stay right here, and we'll go find her. Can you tell us a little about what she looks like, or what she's wearing, maybe? She has a red collar. A red collar, right. Anything else we... Wait. White fur? Oh. 
and the most beautiful bright blue eyes. She really is the most wonderful cat in the kingdom. Huh? Uh, hang on. Cat? She's your flippin' pet kitty. But she is so much more than a pet to me. She is my dearest friend. She is my life. If anything were to happen to her, I... Well, I... The grief would be too much. I cannot think, let alone work, until I know that she is safe. Whoa, steady on there. It'll be okay. Aye, come on. There's no need to panic. Like my friend here said, we'll find your moggy woggy for you. You will? Of course we will. We'll have her back with you in no time, don't you worry. And then, once that's done, you can give us a pair of shoes to say thanks. And the ladies here are falling to pieces, as you can see. You're unbelievable. If you bring my darling Diana back to me, you may have any pair in the shop. It would be my pleasure. All right. Guess we'd better start looking then. All right. Uh, is there anything else in here? I guess there's the, that's the next, uh, you know what, we, we might as well, we can progress the story a little bit. But that doesn't cut through. Alright, uh, who's this? This does, okay. Is this a shop? Nope, that's not a shop. Alright. So you can find hey, that cat look. girl. Just feed him well, and he'll be fine. Thank you so much for helping him. What are you doing? Get away from my daughter. I told you not to go near her. Away with you. Go on, get out of here. Hey, there's no need to talk to her like that. Hmm? And who are you exactly? It doesn't matter who I am. She helped your dog. The least you can do is thank her. I did not ask for her help. And I am not in the habit of thanking vagrants. Come, we are leaving. Uh, all right. You okay? I'm fine. You're the one from... before. Yep. Good to see you again. You want to tell me what just happened? I was born into a traveling circus. I've only been in the city since Bernard took me in. They don't like me here. They call me Vagrant. Outsider. Well, it can take time to settle in somewhere new. It's the same for everyone. I know. At least they let me live here. Thanks for sticking up for me. Bye. Wait. What is it? We... We're looking for something. That's why we're here in Savalon. We were wondering if we might ask you a question or two. Okay. Can we do it at my house? I have to feed everyone. Huh? Feed everyone? This is my house. You... you keep monsters? Uh, what? This is the everyone you were talking about? Yes. It's their dinner time. Come on, little ones. Din-dins. What? Here, Bernie. Ah, oh, you must be hungry. Whew. What is it? Uh, nothing. Better not tell her I was worried we were the Dindins. So, you live with a bunch of animals and monsters, huh? I've had them all since I was in the circus. Our caravans were attacked by bandits when we came near the city. My friends here protected me. That's how I managed to survive. I was the only one. I... I'm so sorry to hear that. It's not so bad. Now I have Bernard. He lets me work at the gaming hall. And he lets me live here with my friends. The money he gives me helps me look after them all. I don't know what I'd do if he ever sent me away. And why would he do that? I don't know. That's just what he says. If I ever let him down, he'll get rid of me. That's horrible. You're not some... Thing he can just cast aside? He's allowed. He's the one who saved me. Wow. You said you were looking for something. Yes. 
It's a blue jewel, about this big. The crystal. You know what it is? Yes. You do? Really? Please, tell us everything you know. Any information you can give us is sure to prove useful. I... I'm sorry. I can't help you. If I do, Bernard will send me away. But you have to. You... Sorry. You need to leave. Well, no surprise, that's how that went. She's not gonna tell us anything, huh? No, and I don't want to push her too far, either. She's been through enough. I suppose we'll just have to look elsewhere, then, eh? What about the people we saw talking to Orpheus in front of the gaming hall? They seem to be rather angry with Bernard. Perhaps one of them might know something useful. Well, let's go do this this quest and then we'll head over there. You did it. You got rid of those infernal goblin archers. Truly, I hit the bullseye when I asked you for your friend help. Perhaps I can call on your aid again in the future. All right. We got an iron bow for that. Very nice. So now we're looking for the green. And it's not here. Okay. Oh, whatever. Um, back to the gaming hall, I suppose. Or this guy. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you about Bernard. Bernard? Hmm. Judging by the look on your face, this is serious. Come with me. It should be safe to talk here. What did you want to know? Well, one of my family's heirlooms, a great treasure, has been stolen, and we may have heard a rumor that it was Bernard who was responsible. Is that so? Well, it certainly sounds possible. You see, he may be the proprietor of the gaming hall these days, but that is not how his career began. He was once a renowned thief, and quite an accomplished one by all accounts. Some say he even stole the building which now houses the gaming hall. It used to be the mansion of an elder by the name of Lupus. Interesting. And if the same rumors are to be believed, he keeps all his ill-gotten gains in that building over there. They say he can be seen going in and out at all hours of the day and night. Has anybody tried to get inside? Well, yes, but they died soon after. A very unfortunate accident. Or a accident. warning to anyone else foolish enough to try the same thing. I like Bernard less and less the more I hear about him. He is dangerous. Please, be careful. There you are. Prince Custer. I have explained my position to Dromed. Bernard's behavior is a black mark on our nation's name. His wicked deeds must be exposed. I hope you will forgive me for using your presence as an opportunity to cleanse my kingdom of wrongdoers, Your Highness. In return, I will, of course, assist you in any way that I can. To that end, I hope that my joining you will smooth your passage through Sabalon. Do you have any objections to my accompanying you? Of course not, Your Highness. How could we refuse the offer of a prince's aid? You honor us. The honor is all mine. Now tell me, did you learn any more of the situation? We sure did. So, listen to this. Intriguing. It seems further investigation is in order. Shall we? All right, Caster's back with us. Um. Oh, well, they fixed one of the bridges at least. Aha! This chest that's been tempting me for the the longest time. 
we can now get to. What's been sitting in this one? A feather hat. That's that's what I've been waiting to get this whole time. All right. Um. Down into the basement. Is this a dungeon? This actually might be a dungeon. Anyhow, what are you doing here? Please, you have to leave. Why? And how did you know we'd be coming? You're good people. I don't want to hurt you. Please. Don't go in there. Sorry, but if you came all this way just to stop us, that means there's something important in there for sure. I... I won't warn you twice. It's gonna be like that, huh? I'm sorry. I am sorry too, Anihal. But we really must see what's inside. If we don't, then it is not only Savalon that will be in danger. It is the whole world. What? I must retrieve the water crystal, Anihal. Yep. All right, so this is the dungeon. Let me see if I... Yep, no no ability to save. Um, all right. We'll, we'll be able to save here soon enough. Caster makes nice. Can I carry something for you, perhaps? <laughs> no, I'm okay, thanks. Careful, Adele. Watch your footing. Okay. Has something happened? Prince Caster's been treating us like dirt this whole time, and now he wants to be our friend all of a sudden? Hey, he's been weirdly polite, eh? Has he changed his mind about us or something? He's been like this ever since we got to the sw sand swept ruins. Maybe he's decided we're not stinky commoners after all. I was wondering if he was more preoccupied than hostile previously. He was always a very kind-hearted boy. This caster is much more like the one I remember. Well, I'm not certainly complaining if he's finally realized what a top bunch he's fallen in with. I sure hope that's it. I'd much rather he was with us than against us. Elvis, I brought along some extra provisions. Do feel free to help yourself. I know how much you enjoy a bite to eat on the road. <laughs> Aye, all right then. Don't mind if I do. No use in <laughs> letting it go to waste, eh? Oh my. All right. Is this an enemy? No, I don't know what that is. Glowy rocks? <laughs> Well, I see our first enemy down here. There's a couple chests. And, yeah, uh, it was all flooded. Ooh, he came right, charging right at me. And he made okay, time to pull the sword this. out. All right, we got some new enemies to examine. Let me uh, let's see. Oh, I can't. I just realized something. I can't, uh, actually check them out, or examine them, because I'm not a freelancer. Let me see. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, Oh wait, this guy's we got his. Let us continue on our way. We got his help. From? How do we do that? I'm actually gonna change uh back to a freelancer. Seth. Uh let's see, jobs. We're gonna put that as his uh support job. Or sub job. Um Somehow, we oh, oh, okay. So we have their health, we just don't have their um, what they're weak to. Oh, no, 
in the soul My might knows no bounds! Uh, uh, I'm up, huh? Mark, I'm all set! Uh, Ice Talisman. Oh, is that is that a rare enemy? I did find what this game's equivalent of a uh, do this. metal slime would be. Like an enemy that gives you super high... Uh, Let me see. Uh, what am I trying to say? Super high experience, but you can only do like a couple things of damage to them each turn. I guess that's just like a moth or something. I don't know. All right, well, he's run away. We'll get this guy, though. The way to open gets stuck in. Oh, my. All right, plenty of enemies. Huh. Let's see, what do we know? about who? Uh, the Lopier, the Rabbits, the Swords, we still gotta scan the Dagon and Silk Moth. Okay. You rang? And then what was it? Lightning? Just hit him a whole bunch with that. Those guys, both. No, no stop. Huh. Like dragon push, maybe we can use that here. Two arms. both of them in, so that's good. We'll get some more experience that way. We've outmaneuvered them. Oh, this is it? Oh, this would be super easy. Um, all weak to lightning. Uh, oh, we only know that.
And the second battle. Ooh. Everybody's poison. And defense is down. Ooh, okay. My knows no bounds. Uh, let's see. Anybody weak to fire? Okay, a couple of these people are. Well, that's good. Let's just do that four times. May sorcery strike you down. May sorcery strike you down. I got some of them now. All right, men. I'm all set. Let me at him. Uh, yeah, so far. And these guys are all weak too. Oh, ground. That's a bummer. Uh, I just attack this guy. Yeah. Nothing to worry. Consecutive, we got times 1.1. 1 .1. Very nice. <laughs> There's two chests up here. Teleports them. Actually, there we go. Make sure to heal everybody. And 1300 gold. Back down here. Is there another path that I passed up? I don't think so. I came from there, so. And we went backwards. Just keep heading this way. Let's see, make sure I'm not missing anything, but I don't see anything yet. But nothing. That's just rocks. Can't cut the mushrooms. Got another moth. That was kind of big and we couldn't really get around it, so might as well fight it. We must make the most of this opportunity. Ooh. Let All right, there's quite a few of them. Uh, Sleep. Um, the target being the subject of enemy attacks. So aggro. And then there's uh, physical damage. Away, fire 
Even the moths are afraid of me. Interesting. What about Fishman? Nope. Fishman's not. We'll still fight those. We must make the most of this opportunity. Yep. Uh, it's all branches off. So that's one spot. So I guess this is the, yeah, this is the path it wants us to go. We could save or go back. So that's the halfway point in the dungeon. Um, let's check this out first, though, before we go that direction. Just to see. Decide to bring any other enemies with us. <laughs> They're yeah. sitting ducks. You better have been ready for this. Jumping here, dinner. Did you underestimate us? There's got to be some chests up here. Some treasure. Aha, I see one. An iron bangle. This is what they said where he stores all his stolen stuff anyways, right? We're just stealing from the thief. Oh, now even Fishman's scared. All right, all these dudes are scared. Uh, yeah. Let's go this way because... Like everybody was, it wants us to go the opposite direction for the story. Let's see where this this puts us out at. Oh, that's a that's a unique or a rare monster. Okay. Ooh, and we still get to fight some. We'll have to come back and, come, and fight him again fight. sometime. These guys, evil eyes, really? Very well. Oh, we actually have learned all kinds of good stuff. 
All right, what do we get out of this chest? Force armlets. Oh, there's a second one. Aha! And power bracers. Yeah, we won't we won't attack him yet. We'll leave that alone. Um, let's see. Let's see if we've unlocked any abilities. Mm -hmm. Defensive, offensive. Performing an attack with a weapon equipped will cause all damage to the user to be reduced to 70% until their next turn. I like it. Um, yeah. That's pretty good, right? I mean, I think so. I don't see what the downside to there is. And then here we go, got Drain Attack. Restores an amount of HP based on uh, damage inflicted with the attack command. So that's the opposite. Uh, so, so the Black Mage gets MP back for hitting him with the staff, and we get HP back for hitting him with the staff. And then... We got Born Entertainer, which does the effects of seeing and archery abilities are increased by percentage based on the user's level divided by 15. Okay, so we got even better uh, bard, bard stats. And then finally, let's see, did we get anything else new with her? Nope. Okay. Mm, should we auto heal? Yeah, I might as well. Do, 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 do. Still look on the lookout for five more chests in here. Yeah, run away, run away. We know you're scared. Okay. There was a second path up here that um, we didn't go on. But we still can. This one here. Is this just empty? No. Looked like it was a dead end there. There we go, there's one of these. Two ethers, normal ethers, that is. Nice. And a pitchfork. Ooh, I wonder if that's... Nope, not worth giving to anybody. Okay. Figure I'd give it a shot, in case the pitchfork was any good. Have the upper hand. Come and get it. Yes, more. So we should get HP back on this. Yep, we got 25. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> So there's the portal. This is where we can save midway through the dungeon. The underground wizard law. Ooh, he still came charging right for us. All right, so he's not scared out there. Huh? How did? This dude. Oh, yeah. oh, that nice. Here I go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Let's see. Is we to electric magic? Easy to get some back. Too easy. <laughs> Five Echo Herbs. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. 
very well. food something it went by really fast so I missed it all right let's see is he still he's still after me oh he is okay oh, we still got him. Evidently, we can still get some good experience off these or they wouldn't charge me we must make the most of this opportunity to own from the poison. You know what? Just because we've fought a couple more. Sure, why not? Should we make a tent? No, they'll have they'll have another save point there where we can use a tent for closer to the when we fight Bernard. Or the boss of this chapter. Which I'm still assuming it's just gonna be Bernard, but Unless he does something, he's like, oh, I can't fight you now. I'm gonna run away. And we have to go and fight him in chapter three or whatever. Oh! Still wants me. Come, let us fight! To arms! Ooh, lots of people. Okay. Antarctic wins. All right, we only have one chest we're missing. That's pretty good. It's gotta be down this way. Make the most of this opportunity. Ooh, quite a lot. Okay. Uh, I knows no bounds. Sword of Stone. Uh, okay, so we do have a couple more now. Um, I can beat physical attacks. These guys that weren't. No. And shield stun. Sign okay, so Skull Bash. It's just a more powerful version of Skull Bash. No. Shield Bash. There's Shield Bash and Shield Stun. Here we go. 
heck of a team! Mm -hmm. And that's the last chest. Of course. Of course the last chest is the one that jumps somebody out. Shoots somebody out at us. <laughs> You're in for a treat. Very well. Yeah. We all have our weaknesses. We all have our weaknesses. Brutally effective. Here I go. Confused, it just picks a thing at random to do. I guess you don't get to, you're not allowed to pick. Did you underestimate us? It just says, okay, well, what are, we're just gonna select something for you. Which I guess is better than hurting yourself in the confusion. Bulwark Blade. Come on, that's gotta be, we can give to somebody. Still, he's still sticking with the broad axe. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, we can't auto heal. It's a bummer. We should be able to get up to the next save point here pretty fast. Oh, this guy wants us. I saw him hiding there behind the rock. We have no uh, magic to fight this guy with. That's we fair. outmaneuvered them. <laughs> Let me. Here it comes. There's nothing coming. We better be ready for this. Uh, no common. I can tell. Oh, no, we're not. That's the green icon I was looking at. It should be on the other side here. Man. I wonder what it's going to take for these guys to be scared of me. You know what? Retreat is sometimes the wisest option. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't wanna fight all those dudes, to be honest. Especially when we're this low on health and I can't heal. Here we go. Yeah, that's it. Now it's time to use the tent. I've got four of them, so sure. Alright, 
Time for Boss Bernard to come out. Whoa. Just look at it. But how can this be? There is no water source to be found at such a shallow depth. Eh? What do you mean? If there was water anywhere closer to the surface, it would have been discovered when the tunnels were excavated. Which means that the current abundance of water can only be explained by the presence of the crystal. Do you know what's above us right now, Prince Castor? Hmm. Based on the distance and direction in which we have traveled, I would guess that we were somewhere beneath Bernard's mansion. That settles it. Bernard has the crystal for sure. We must return to the surface and head there right away. Look out! Oh no, she's gonna make this a spider monster? Creature. It's Annie Health Pet! Annie Hal? Bernard says I have to stop you. And I will. By the power of the asterisk! Disappointing. Please, leave Bernard alone. You're good people. I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to, and I won't hold back. All right, it's boss time. So please give up before I have to hurt. I guess what is this this class like a monster beast trainer or something? Two arms. We have uh, so we've already recorded the others. So we still need to look at Anihal and Pieste or something. However you say that. Uh, knows no bounds. These guys. Two thousand. Whoa, a gel plan, but it's got two thousand HP. What? All right. That's that's not funny. Probably yeah. start whittling down her pets. Um. Alright, let's see what we can- oh... Are we confused? What? What's going on here? I can't use any abilities? Hold up. Silence. I guess silence doesn't allow me to- that's pretty stupid. Um, all right, so let's examine any hall and then examine yes day Let's deck the guys. Let's see that goes again. Okay, so swords. Let's turn down that so it's a little bit easier. This is the boss. No big deal. See what's going on. Okay, I think I actually need to not focus on the slime, instead focus on the, the fairy. Ooh, and Seth is dead. Oh, I don't actually have anything to bring them back. I can only do it with. Um, let's see. Poison, blindness, silent. Uh, okay, so that does everything. Paralysis, sleep. Oh, okay, cures uh, of silence. And then uh, reduce magical damage. Yeah, this will help. Aye, that should do it. Ray 
Health does she have, by the way? I already need to look. Ooh, 11,000. Okay. And the Undyne has three brave points. Uh, alright. Raise Seth. Then raise Adele. And then. What is this? Here's what the power that just do. Here's all the stuff. Um. Everybody. Let me and help you. Cure everybody. So now we're going to let help protect, protect myself. Physical attacks. No, still standing. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then what was it? Yeah. Got to break through. One of these, or I'm just gonna get roasted every single turn. Adele's gonna die again. Everybody's still alive, technically. Who's the, who's the closest here? Yeah, we gotta take out the Undyne. Uh, crosscut. We're gonna do four crosscuts on her. Especially since she's stored all her brave up. Yes! Good work. Alright, so we go to the snake next. Is this. No, I can't remember who's left. Well, that's hitting everybody. So. That's poisoning people. So yeah, we'll go after snake. To worry about. Yes. Huh. You will regret your impertinence. So the same deal. We still got plenty of each. Uh, raise her. Raise him. Then cure everybody. You know what? And we'll actually do that twice. Does that feel better? All right. We heal. Let's go again. Right. Let me oh, I didn't mean just her. Oh, I was trying to do it to everybody again. Alright. So. And then. What are these guys weak to? Ground? Oof. Yeah, I don't got any of that. Um. Try to put that guy to sleep. Actually, let's try to put a couple of these guys to sleep. Let's see if you can up to it, shall we? My time to play, man. Let's see if you can get up to it, shall we? Sing the heart. My time to play, man. Did it work? I don't even know. I guess it didn't work. Dang, muzzled everybody. Dead. No, that's not good. Gloria's dead. Uh oh. I don't have any. I, I yeah. I don't have any items to bring her back. Yeah, that's a that's a big bummer. There is no teleporter, or I would have gone back to the shop and bought some more. I don't even know if I want to beat.
Because here's the thing, if I beat her without You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give up this battle. We're gonna we're gonna redo it. So don't worry. We're gonna redo it. I apologize. We're gonna open her back up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back and buy some uh Phoenix Downs because just in case that happens. Because she's gonna miss out on all that experience too. Which I don't want. Um and now that we know a little bit more of what we're doing. Let me go right. Because I saved at the tent right before here. Because we would have had to whittle her all the way down. And then without her, yeah, it was just it was just a BMS. So I'm actually going to have to backtrack a little bit to go grab some of that. I'm going to check the shop too, just in case there's some better equipment. Um, but we shall see. <laughs> All right, yeah, because otherwise I wish there was a, uh, a teleporter there, but there's not. So let's run. Oh, no! I don't want to fight both of them. Come, let us fight! Very well. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden I have my special. I think it's been a lot more useful. They didn't used to be that way. It used to be the exact opposite. Uh, last episode. I just find that interesting. Alright, where is the teleporter? I know you're around here somewhere. No, it's over this way. Man, this is a lot farther back than I remembered. There it is. Okay. Man. Yeah, that was far back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like how she's just sitting by the entrance again. shop at. Aha, new items. Alright, so we don't need any of that jazz. Uh, actually, how many? Uh, we have seven mini ethers. Let's see. Mithril axe. Okay, so we got, we got a, couple of thing, a couple of things we can purchase. Thrill Spear. Alright, we get one of everything. Yeah, we're just missing one spear, but we don't need that anyways. Mithril Armor. Mithril Helm. And a Turban.
White Veil. Uh, Silent Immunity. Yes, that's what we need. Uh, poison, poison Immunity. And then... Yeah, we'll stick with that for right now. And then the rest we'll just buy. Just buy 10 Phoenix Downs. We still got 6,000 gold. I mean, we still have plenty of money. Heck yeah. Alright, I will say that was, that was worth it. That's what it's saying to give to everybody, so. I'll go with that. Uh, we'll save one more time. I know we're just going right back. Back down there, just in case. Always a good idea to save. Always. I guess we could also use one of those orbs that get us out of the dungeon super fast. But. Oh well, didn't do it. We saved some money, how about that? <laughs> Isn't my HP and MP, yeah. Yeah, everything's still good enough. I don't, I'm not gonna waste another tent when it's barely things changed. some money somewhere, yeah? Let's put the bed! You know, I really hate that both of them have a staff. She has a level B. The pitchfork is really good. But it puts her overleveled, I think. Or overloaded. By how much, though? Twenty se uh, 32 out of 27? I mean, that's not that bad, right? I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Because, what's her name, also weak to um, spears that we know. Alright, let's try this again.
So, first target's the fairy, then the snake, then the uh, slime block. Please. So, it's physical defense on Undyne. It also has the least HP, so. And I think that's the one that is silencing everybody, so it's smart to go after it first. Cuts. My light knows no bounds. Twenty nine. Oh, my goodness. I think we have the Phoenix sound this time. Adele's alive with one HP. Alright. This is crazy. Uh, magical event down 35% on Undyne. So. Alright, just put in all my... That's it. Okay. We'll save that for your next turn. Uh, 721. Uh, 
was the thing? It was called Echo something? Echo Herbs? Cure myself of silence and then... Everybody... Might help. There we go. Let me help you. Oh, thanks for feeling me. Sorcery struck you down. Ugh. Your days are now. That was such a waste. Brutally effective. Stop doing that. Huh. A mere scratch. Of course. At least this doesn't. I mean, they charge up all these grains, but it's only doing like 100 damage piece. Uh -huh. The shush sucks. Okay. Yeah, they didn't work out anything like I was hoping. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Let's try that again. Third time's a charm. Uh,
Yeah, all right. I mean, it was great that we got our special and everything, but uh, I need to okay. kill this fairy in. first. Increase their magical attack. Yeah, but what? How can we decrease their defense? She's the only one alive. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Not I have to do this. Before we rush in there again, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out something. I meant to bring back everybody and I accidentally default I hit L instead of R and I defaulted and that's why they killed me. Uh Yikes. Okay. Um, I kind of don't like this uh, uh, bard as much. Or maybe I, I won't make that his uh, main job. Let's see. Set that back as a black mage. Yep, I like that. And then bard can be a sub job. Uh, for her, I'm actually going to make her a vanguard as well. Instead of a monk. Yeah. Mm. And then... Set of freelancer as her sub-job. Yeah. And then for her... I'm gonna put a... That works. Um, Mm -hmm. 
because if this is like the Beast Trainer class or whatever, I'm gonna give that to Adele after after we beat her anyways. So we're not gonna stick with the Vanguard for her for much longer. Please. Um Alright! Let's try this another time. Let's just do this a bunch. A song? I hope my voice is loud. More noise. A song? Very well. first, I suppose. Thing is weak to bows and spears, and she's weak to swords. None of which we have. Um, although, oh, I don't have the the what I'm looking for. That's okay. The ground attack. This should do it. Oof. Okay, now uh, we can use sort of sort of stone. Bunch on him. Here it comes. Yeah, there we go. Get some. Ooh, five nine. Yo, that is some good stuff. Oh, and I have MP. And now it's just her lens. Okay. We totally do this. Ooh. Throw one of the nasty 
worms. Huh. Alright, what's her magic with the worms now? Something must be done. Uh down 25%. She's still got 10,000 HP. Okay. And she's weak too. So. So for the first one, we're going to. I only have one. Oh, because I'm silenced. Okay. So first one we're gonna have to use is the Echo Herbs. Cure my silence. And then raise. Elvis, and then cure all of us, and we're gonna do that one more time. Perhaps this might help. Oh, did oh I hit? Oh, I Does hit that feel better? I'm like, what's going on? I messed it up again. I only heal. Should have healed. Nothing to worry about. What's the plan? Doing no damage to me, uh, somehow. I don't know why I'm invincible. But now I have to waste my turn, giving Phoenix downs to everybody. Then I can use 180. Yeah. This will do it. Bring everybody back to life. This will do it. My time is not yet. Try this. Uh, so let's see. Aye, that should do it. A welcome intervention. This will help. I guess you do. Thank you. Thank you. And that's still still coming, of course. <laughs> but we still have Prince Caster constantly debuffing her. We're gonna have a heck of a lot easier. Yeah, see, I don't know what's the zero. Why I'm taking no no damage from that. And of course, I have one HP. So Does that feel better? Alright, let me help you. Let me help! What is she? Oh, she's down 35% now. Um, and I have full magic points. Yeah, we're going. We're going full sword of the stone. Come on! Miss! Yeah. What? Better luck next Get time. Some. Oh my god. What a joke. And of course, Glory is dead again. You're all right. Where's she at now? Right. Six thousand? Okay. okay I'm all set. Uh. Hey, try this. This favor will Let's not be forgotten. Thanks for bailing me hey, out. Try this. That was a close one. Let's here. see. I live to fight another day. Yeah. Oh, very unfair. Yeah. You rang? Okay. She's still down. Yeah, she put defense twenty-five percent. Okay. 
what is she weak to again? Oh, just Earth. That is a bummer. Keep me alive still. Oh, come and get it. Okay, I'm going all in. Seven ten. Come on, seven thirty one. Good. Six. Oh yes. Something must be done. So she's down on both now. So four down to four thousand. Um. Yes, my might knows no bounds. Let's see. So I actually have no. Uh, we're gonna have to use the other ether. One hundred eighty. And then that. Be raise her and then you're all of us. This should do it. Cannot usable si whoa, 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 whoa! I thought I did silence myself or unsilence. Oh, I didn't. No, I'm not finished. I totally wasted. That. You won't beat oh my me. God, if you do, Bernard will get rid of me. And I can't let that happen. He's all I have. You can join us. Now, yeah, Del's still dead. Oh, stay alive, Elvis, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Thank you. All right. All right, let's see. Aye, this should do it. Yeah, I am in your debt. Aye, this should do it. Thank you. Yeah, this will help. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, I don't think it is, though. They're still going to die with a sandstorm. Yep, because that does 500 damage. At least Gloria's back. There he's back. Come on, come on. Oh, don't be like 861! Oh my goodness. Let me at him! Was that all? That was all of them. That's all. I only have two Phoenix Downs left. Of course I do. Because she's only at 550, so that's still gonna be garbage. But you don't get yeah, it's gonna kill her. Two. I don't know. I have no clue. Oh no 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 no! Oh my god, 47. You must get up. All right. Thank goodness. Right. Let me help Let's you. Great. Oh. Does that feel Dang better? Spider, I mean hey. that. I owe you one. Huh. So close. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh. no. Oh. no. Oh. 
Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Ooh, all right. How much health does she have? 3,000? All right. Give him mini ether to Seth. And then... Actually give him two. And then... Do we have any potions or anything? Uh... of Blindness. No, don't. Oh, God. Oh. Better luck next time. That was nothing. 28 feet. Come and get it. What a disaster. All right. Um, and I'm blind again, so that was waste. 2,720, okay. Do I have no any more? I have a bunch of mini ethers, okay, good. Too many ethers, and then... Do it. Instead of attack, I'm not even going to attack. I shall endeavor to return the favor. Do it. Thank you. Here, try I live to fight <laughs> another day. 864. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Better luck next time. You will regret your <laughs> impatience. Yeah. Be right, healed. Thanks. Does that feel better? But now everybody's gonna survive again, hopefully, until the next turn. Oh, Elvis is almost there. Alright. She's so close. She is so close to dying, too. We're just out of everything. We're out of Phoenix Downs, we're out of potions. That's the problem. Better luck next time. Oh my goodness. Alright, everybody. We can do this. Okay, we can do this. Um. We're gonna sing a whole bunch. Uh, put our defense super high. We're gonna have to hold out to the end. So this is where the this is gonna come in. Oh, am I seriously out of? I'm sorry. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh my god. This is interesting. That was close. Oh man. We did it. <laughs> High fives to everybody. Alright, so what is this? The beat Beastmaster class? Beastmaster, I knew it. Yep. Uh, Beastmasters use their connection with the wild to help them fight ferociously and command monster minions. Capture a weakened monster. Um, chance of six, okay, based on its HP. Off the leech. So basically, capture a wild monster and then let it loose against your enemies. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Five hours. Yeah, thankfully I, I wasn't on it for that long. It's been, it's been about an hour I've been fighting, trying to go against that boss.
He's going to send me away. He hates losers. I'm... Hill. Annie Hal, do you send your pets away when they don't do what you want them to? Sure, you might scold them, maybe punish them a little, even, but... Would you ever even think about abandoning them? I... You have a kind heart, Annie Hal. You are a good person. The sort of person who would help a little girl's puppy, even if it meant enduring insults and abuse. Of course you want to repay Bernard for helping you. It's only natural. But as long as he has the crystal, Savalon will remain in danger. People will continue to lose their homes. You might even lose your home. And what will become of your pets then? Bernard has done something bad. Something wrong. I... I... I understand. But I can't be on my own again. When everyone from the circus was... I was so scared. You're not on your own, anyhow. What? You have your pets, don't you? I... suppose so. And now, you have us, too. Thanks. Okay. I'll tell you where the crystal is. Are you sure? I'll give you the key to the place where it's hidden. Come to my house. Well, well. If it isn't the formidable Drummond. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Princess Gloria knows that you have the crystal. It is only a matter of time until... Please, dear fellow. So he's in on it too. Not. Of course. All is in that my doesn't surprise me. Hands. You see? I suppose if that is the only way. Very well. Let us do as you say. Wonderful. I knew you would enjoy my little scheme. But the prince continues to help Princess Gloria. I would ask that you take pains to ensure that no harm comes to him. And of course, no one can know of the incident, not under any circumstances. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I have not forgotten the debt I owe the royal family. I remain, as ever, a loyal subject. Very good. Then, if you will excuse me. Fool. Try to sell me your pathetic worldview, would you? You forget that I do not buy, I take. And I will take it all. The entire empire. <laughs> all right. So I guess that wasn't, we fought two bosses. We fought Orpheon and then we fought Anial. Um, I figured that was gonna be the end of it, but I guess not. Come on, come on, I need anything? There we go. You gotta wait till it's a drop. Um, what level am I right now? 13, 21, 12, and yeah. Glory is level 21 because I found, I did the whole like ship quest thing and turned it off for 12 hours, or I mean, had it in sleep mode for 12 hours. And when I came back, it was, uh, it had found me some, like, crazy good job orb. No way, don't uh, be stuck orb, I mean. So, uh, yeah. That's why she's so much higher than everybody else. Very well. I totally forgot I had my special. I could have totally used that on any all, but I didn't. Oh, 
Totally effective. Yeah. All set. We sure make a heck of a team. See, I would be level 16 on all your members because the next boss does 1600 damage. Ooh. Yeah, that is quite up there. Um, yeah. I'm playing. I'm not. This stream was supposed to go for four hours. We get about like 10 minutes left of the stream. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off for another 12 hours and let it and let the boat uh, stuff collect its collect its stuff and then uh, see if I get anything good again from there. And uh, do a little bit of grinding and we'll pick it back up tomorrow for uh, part three. Like I said, I, I figured this was gonna be the end of chapter one, but apparently it's not. We got a couple more bosses. No experience this time. One must never stop learning. Plant food. There we go. I'll be there tomorrow to you. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming. I thought because the prologue had two bosses, the chapter one would also have two bosses. Um, but apparently. Chapter one is gonna have three bosses, including uh, Bernard. So let's see, it should be right up here, yeah? Yeah, here's a teleport. And we got all the chests in there, all kinds of good stuff. to pick up in here? No. This is where we need to go next. But I'm actually going to go to the inn. And, oh, there's a party chat first. Do the party chat and then go to the inn. A ruler's burden. Hmm. Is something the matter, your highness? I have just received another mass, uh, missive for the palace. Nothing for you to concern yourself with, Princess Gloria. I have already sent the, my messenger back with my reply. If there are matters of state which require your attention, then... It was a question about the matter in which I will dress for an upcoming official engagement, that is all. Truly a mere trifle. My retainers are diligent to a fault, but I sometimes wish they would show more initiative. Being consulted on every minor detail does become a little weary after a while. I'm sure they are simply eager to please you, Your Highness. A little too eager, I would suggest. Dispatching a messenger to confirm the color of a robe cannot help but seem somewhat over fussy. You know, I t once realized something about my own retainers. I saw that they were frightened of me, though I dearly wished that they would treat me as their equal. I would suspect that all those served by others suffer similar frustrations. I am sure they do, in which case we must not be too hard on our attendants. Wise words indeed, your highness. Huh. You have no idea how refreshing it is to be able to speak of such matters with one who has first-hand experience of what it is to rule. Oh, the feeling of is very mutual. I am always happy to talk, Your Highness, if there is anything you wish to discuss. Okay. A hundred and forty? I thought it was only eighty last time. There's an optional boss in the gambling hall if you want an extra asterisk. Ooh. We might have to do that at the beginning of uh, tomorrow's stream. I figured, uh, what's his name? Bernard was going to be at the at the gambling hall. But yes, I am trying to 100% this game. Uh, so I will definitely, definitely take a look into that. But yeah. So. Let me sneak over here. Was this her house? I guess it was. I thought her house was over in the other corner. <laughs> I 
Your pets seem pleased to see you, anyhow. They're my friends. Yeah, I can see that. So, the crystal. There's a hidden room in Bernard's house. It's probably in there. A hidden room? Hmm. It's upstairs. At the back of the house. There's a bookcase. Behind one of the books, there's a keyhole. Thanks, anyhow. That's great. And please, you have to... Bernard may have done bad things, but... He saved me. Don't worry. We don't want to fight him either if we can avoid it. We can't promise anything, but we'll do our best. Thank you. Okay. Let us retire to the palace and discuss our next move. He's got a secret room behind the bookcase. If we're going to sneak in, we should do it when Bernard's not there. The place will be less well guarded then. Hmm. Thieving Perhaps if I summoned him to the palace. Do you think that would work, Your Highness? Of course. I bring news, Prince Castor. The rogue minstrel's interrogation has yielded valuable information. He has confirmed that Bernard has the crystal. Excellent. Mm. This gives us the perfect reason to summon our friend here. Leave the rest to me, Princess Gloria. What would you have us do with the minstrel, honored prince? He has divulged the truth. We shall hold him for a while, then release him as promised. You're just gonna let him go? But he attacked Gloria. His cooperation was secured on condition of his release. We cannot very well renege on such a promise. <clears throat> but you can't just... This is not my homeland. My concerns are not a priority here. <sighs> we will leave the matter in your hands, Prince Castor. Thank you for your understanding. Summon Bernard to the palace. As you wish. I will deal with things here. I leave the rest to you. All right, so he's out of the party again. Bernard's mansion of the east of town. Let's take a look here. Which one is Bernard's mansion? Oh, I guess it's all the way up there in the cliffs. Interesting. Oh, more party chat. Fighting talk. How did you learn to fight like that, Adele? Oh, I don't know. I guess I just picked it up as we went along. Wait, does that mean you didn't do any training before you came a mercenary? You must have learned the basics from somebody, at least. Who was your teacher? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Thing is, it's a secret. Why, what do you mean? Well, can't a girl have a little mystery? Didn't anyone ever tell you that the less people know about you, the more interesting you are? Hey, if you don't want to talk about it, it's okay, I... Fine. If you really must know, I did have a teacher. Somebody who taught me how to fight. How to, well, just about everything. Really? And who were they? They were kind of the boss of the place where I grew up. Someone super, super strict. But you could tell there was a kindness underneath it all. Sounds like the perfect teacher. I guess. Anyways, that's all you're getting out of me. I have to keep my hold on a little mystery. Okay, not sure why, but fine. Alright, um... We're actually going to make her a beast trainer. So... Uh... Oh, that's cool. I like that. Um, and then for her sub job, she can be a uh, Vanguard. Leave that back on there. I think they only go up to level 12 at the most, so we should be maxing out some of these jobs here pretty soon. All right, so that is actually where we're gonna end the stream today. Wait, is this guy? It's a new quest. I guess it is a new quest. Might as well pick it up. A fragrant, a fragrant lie. Find the expensive perfume. Okay. Um. 
but since this is the boat shop, we're going to set this up so that one way I go to sleep. 12 hours later, hopefully we have some good loot um, to come back to. So, anyways, thank you all for watching today's stream. If you did, always make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And we will see you in tomorrow's for uh, more Bravely Default. Take care, guys. Bye.